Okay, I just hit start streaming. And I think it's working. The only thing that's not working is the chat box, which I have on the top left corner of the screen. Hmm. Hello. Let's see if I can make this thing work. Hello. Hi, Cal. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Violet. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Dirty Sinner. Fun name. Arige, Helena, ah, Tegan, Mad Samantha, guys, hello! Alright, this ba black box that's like right above me is supposed to be the chat so that when I re-upload these onto the YouTube channel you guys can see that. Um, hello, hello! Oh, But it's not working right now so I gotta figure that out. I've got two monitors right here. This monitor, you guys, um, this is obviously what you're seeing. I've got a monitor down below here. That's where the chat is for me. But hopefully I can get that up. And then my second monitor, which I'm trying to like monitor the stream with. So let's figure that one out. Why is it not working? Okay, so I can make... <laughs> I can make Premiere double right there. But Chrome EXE won't work. Multi-adapter compatibility? No, that doesn't work. Um. Mm. Hello. I'm sorry it's so late. I know, I know. I don't, I don't record things in a timely manner to sit down and edit them at a normal working hour. It is 10.20 p.m. where I am. I'm going to try to get this puppy done by 1 a.m. It's not going to be as long as it was before. Um, how? If anybody knows, Heather, heading to bed, but to pop down to say hi. Totally going to watch this tomorrow. <laughs> Hello. Arish, did I pronounce your name right or not? Eleven twenty, eleven thirty, one a.m. Ooh, wow, Anya Rose, Anya thirteen Rose. That's that's late, girl. Go bed or boy. I don't know your gender. Uh, but I can't get the, I can't get your chats to show up right here, and I'm real bummed about it. Maybe, maybe there's a different thing that I need to do. What? Browser source? Ooh, maybe it's browser source. Let's do chat. This name's already in use. Better chat. Here, so you can see what I'm doing. Better chat. Okay. Oh. Can I do... Can I do this? Oh, I think I got it to work. Is that you guys? It is one to one, baby. One to one, baby. Okay, and I can make it size like that. <laughs> Let's edit this. I'll make the width also 600. Okay. Guys, it's working. It's working so good. That's too small. Four fifty, okay. And one last try, we're gonna do four hundred width, and then I think we'll be done setting up this chat. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now you guys can see you guys at the same rate that I'm seeing you guys. We're gonna turn this off. Great, great. Oh man, we're cooking with gas. How is the sound? Can you hear me fine? Let's see. Hola. Cal says, the one time I went to Michigan, it was the most boring place I'd ever been to, which is weird, because, like, practical folks at Beth are the least boring people. We moved, boy. <laughs> we got out of there. Pinkta, 1 a.m. here. Had to stay up for you, Beth. Aw, hello, Pinkta. Thanks for being here. Let's see. 
I can hear you. I can hear you fine. Sounds great. Good, good, good. Now we're going to test this stuff. If I go into my music library. Um, this might be super loud. Let me know. Oh yeah, that's way too loud. Sorry, I'm going to bring that down. It's crazy loud in my ears. But how does that sound to everybody music-wise? Because that's going to be like what I'm editing, that volume. I remember last time we did this, what I was editing was way louder than what I was saying, and you guys couldn't hear me at all. Every time I put up the bra, the <laughs> every time I put up the volume, you breathe into the mic. I wonder if there's a way I can change that. Maybe I'll like move it away from me. Get the best. We'll get the best version of this. Alicia Martinez, I did my motion graphics report on you because you're so rad. Motion graphics report. Ooh, send that to me. I want to read it. Maybe I could learn more about myself that I don't know. Music sounds great. Loud. It's good. Loud. Uh. Fine for me, might have to go to. Sorry that it's so late again. Thanks for being here. Um, we're going to put together a rad portrait for Snarled. Same as last time, but that last time it was in rad art, so it took a really long time to edit. This time it's a rad portrait, so we have a whole, uh, we have an idea in mind. We're going to do Elizabeth Warren. I've already done all the drawing. I've already done all the recording. Everything's ready to go. Got her in a folder right here. Oh wait, no, not right here. I'm gonna go into Snarled. We gotta go into footage. Elizabeth Warren. Here we go. Here's all the things. And we're just gonna put this puppy together. So here, the VO, footage, footage. Whoop! Pull that down here. Guys, my niece is watching. Hello. Hello, Helena. Hi, James. It's my brother. I'm assuming that his girlfriend's there. Helena's Helena's mama. Maggie, in which case, hello. Cello. Okay, could you put it a little on the top of your mouth so it's not in the vicinity but no loud breathing? <sighs> How's that sound? I can't hear myself. Maybe I can turn it on so I can hear myself. I don't think I want to. And if I preview it on the computer, then you guys will hear it and it'll be this like crazy back and forth thing. Are you okay with me using you as my artist for my art assignment for college? Yeah, of course I'm okay with that. I don't know if I'm your number, if I'm like the person that you should be doing it on because there's a lot more like living, remarkable um, artists who are out there. I'm not talking down about myself. I'm just saying that maybe James Jean would be someone to look into or Eric um, Eric Jones, for instance, if you don't mind looking at nipples. Actually, both of those artists talk a lot and deal a lot with nipples, so maybe... Depends on what you're into. Okay. I have to go into Audition, which is Adobe's audio program, and then... Um, properly format all of my audio so that it sounds good in your ear holes. I'm going to go into Snarled, Footage, Elizabeth Warren. The audios are down here. And I've got the capture from this little Zoom mic for both like when I'm talking to camera and then also just for the voiceover where there's no footage. It sounds like angels! <laughs> I stopped my Grey's Anatomy marathon for you. Dang! Thank you. I hope that I am as entertaining. I won't be as dramatic. There will be, not be as much, like, ghost love here. But everybody likes a different thing, so... If you're cool with that, awesome. Violet the Dragon, good night. Thanks for stopping in for this little bit. I hope that you giggled at least one time. Okay. The youngest with. So here's my video the here. The youngest with three older. Blah. Anyways, she got prego. Moved to New Jersey. That sounds good. 
I'm going to do Beth B. Red apply. And this is just going to like level out all of the levels, equalize all of it. Aaron, hi! I really enjoyed the women in animation talk you did at CCS last week. It was the highlight of my week. You were there? Awesome! Thanks for coming back, dude! I'm glad that you enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun for me. Um, for everybody else, last week I did like a Skype um, seminar for a bunch of people in entertainment arts and illustration and whoever else wanted to come at my alma mater at CCS, the College for Creative Studies. And Aaron was there! And I talked a lot about what it's like to be a professional motion graphics artist. And we also talked about Vor and crazy stories about when I was an RA. And there was a guy who called us because he ran out of toilet paper and he wiped his butt with a towel. And that was a thing that he thought he needed to call the RAs to come and, I guess, help him with? I don't know. From home. I work from home with no... The youngest with three older... Okay, we're going to boost this by three. I think that'll be enough. Taylor asks, how long does it typically take you to edit red portraits? Um, red portraits maybe take four hours, I want to say. The way that I'm finding this shakes out, and I hate to admit this because it seems crazy, but for every minute of footage, there's an hour of, of editing. So if it's a four minute piece, it's probably four hours. If it's a three minute piece, three hours. But I'd like, I feel like I can get a three minute long piece out in an hour and a half. It's the longer ones that are less structured that take a little bit longer, but we'll find out. This looks complicated. It, yeah, it looks complicated, but the more that you Different do, high schools. the more that you do animation, animations, the more that you do editing, the easier it gets. And it just becomes this kind of like workflow that you're used to. In your law school and most recently at Harvard. Like ignore all of this kind of um, crazy purple and orange and yellow stuff. That's here, I'll show you like a kind of cool thing that you can do with with Audition. Um, these are like the waveforms, so an interesting and detailed way of looking at the waveforms. Uh, say say there's something in this audio that I don't like. Like what's in 2011? In 2011, that's impressive. That's uh, okay, let's just say I don't like, that's, I guess the weird clicking that's coming through my mouth when I'm saying the word that's, that's, because you can kind of hear that, like, sound. Very pleasant, I know. You can come in here with this, like, paint tool, spot healing brush tool, and actually edit the, um, edit the sound. <laughs> so now it sounds like I'm a barking dog. And so you'd have to like find where in this was the clicky sounds, but you can just paint them out. That's wherever they live. That's Yeah, so that's been really nice for if I have a really good take but the bird yells in the middle of it, I can like paint out the bird's scream, which is kind of cool. Okay, so what are you exactly doing with sound? Right now I am trying to level everything, equalize everything. And it, it keeps not working on the first pass, and I don't know what that's about. So when I record, my audio tends to be really quiet, and you want it to be around negative six when it's playing. I got prego, playing. moved to New Jersey, had a baby, enrolled in Rutgers School of Law in Newark, got prego again, got her JD, passed the bar. So right now mine's kind of hovering around negative 12 and negative nine. And so I want to boost it, to get it up to negative six. But another thing I want to do is make it so that all of the highs, all of the loudest times that I'm talking are the same level. And I think I've done that here. Like nothing really goes above, uh, if I made this bigger, you could see it. Nothing really goes above negative six, but I want negative six to be like my middle average. So I'm gonna boost that by two maybe. And I have accidentally isolated part of my waveform. And in response to the claims that asking the rich to pay more- That sounds good. So I'm going to save that. And do the same thing to this VO. So you can see that this VO is kind of all over the place. I've got like really loud- Hi, hello. <laughs> sounds. And then when I'm just talking to myself- Tell you why I think they're making a difference. It's really quiet. 
So what I'm doing is selecting all of that uh, and adding a dynamics processing, a single band compressor, and an adaptive noise reduction. Which, at one point I knew what all these things were, and then I just kind of put it in a template, and now I don't know what they are. Okay, so see how it like levelized? Levelized? It equalized all of the levels here. So whenever I'm very loud, I only ever go up to negative nine. Hi, hello, my name is Beth, and this is... Hi, hello. <clears throat> So that all sounds the same. Unfortunately, it all sounds the same at negative nine, so I want to boost that up by maybe four to get it up to negative six. If you liked it, leave me a comment. Cool, save. So audio's done. I'm going to exit out of audition. Now we're back here. Debris, hi Beth, how are you today? I'm good. I've been working all day, which normally is fun, but I have Zelda on the mind, and so all I want to do is play Zelda. And I can't do this. I think I'm going to move my chat box up so I can see you guys more often. Lexi Daily, gotta go. Love your videos. Bye. I love you. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed. I didn't even start, but I still hope you enjoyed. Okay, there's my um, second chin for all of you to enjoy. So I just pulled in uh, my talking head footage and my voiceover. This is my sync. So I'm looking for the waveform where they line up, and that looks to be pretty good. I don't think I can do better than that. Yeah, no, that's good. Now I'm going to delete the original footage, and re not footage, delete the original audio and replace it with Z new and pretty audio. And let me just show you what that sounds like. So the camera audio, if you're here for editing stuff and not for me making uh, poop jokes, the camera audio solo sounds like this. Hi, hello, my name is Beth, and this is Red Portraits, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I... Yep. But the cool microphone audio sounds like... Oh. Hi, hello, my name is Beth, and this is Red Portraits, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think is making a difference. So that's, that's cool. That's nice. I like that a lot. Bethy Boo, hello. Um, do you like drawing animals and things other than people? Yes, I do like drawing animals and things other than people. Um, I just draw people for YouTube a lot because that's what people want to see. Um, did I paint my apartment? I love the gray, totally different feel from James and Chelsea's. I live down the hallway from James and Chelsea of Practical Folks. They're fantastic. If James comes and scares me again in the stream, I will smack him in the mouth. But, um, yeah, we live in essentially the same apartment layout, but theirs was less recently renovated than mine, and I guess they're just painting everything gray now, so my walls are gray and theirs are not. Totoro-san. I'm sorry I can't stay. I love you. I love you too. Thanks for being here. Um, ooh, Mad's cool. She's going to make Fiona's sword, and that's like a, as a cosplay, and that's super rad. That mic, though. Editing tidbits are super cool to me, as well as poop jokes. Okay, cool. We're, we're on the same page, then. Alright, let's cut this puppy down. Let's get the intro and outro out. So recently, Snarled told me that they want the videos to, like, the intros and the outros to be a lot shorter and to, like, get into the, the drawing faster and then to tease the end result before the actual end. So we're just going to do that. What program am I using? I am using Premiere. Adobe Premiere 2015.4. I've tried to use 2006, I mean 17, which is the most recent CC Creative Cloud update, but it doesn't, it's crappy, it sucks. Mary Callaghan, she just found out she didn't get into the art program. No one should tell you Hi. that you're not good at art, because that's ridiculous. Everyone can be good at art, you just need to do it a lot and practice. Oh, I should probably tweet that this is happening. All right, last thing before I really jump into it. Let me grab the... Where's the link to this? 
That's server URL. Share. Beth you read live. Copy. Twitter. I'm live. Editing a rad art on my channel. Come hang out if you're not sleepy. And then I put a winky face. Where the emoticons are so small and I have to get so close. Tweet. Cool. <coughs> Alright. <clears throat> <laughs> Just look at the frozen Beth. No, don't. It's terrible. Hi. Okay. Hi, hello. My name. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi. Hi. That's cute. I like that cute take. I'm gonna link these so that they edit together. Hi, hello, my name is Beth, and this is Red Portraits, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think is making a difference. Making a difference. Making a difference. Is making a difference. Cut that. Tell you why I think they're making a difference. Tell you. Tell you why I think they're making a difference. Oh, I like that. That's fun at it. Tell you. Tell. And then I draw. Tell you why I think they're making a difference. Pidgey didn't like that yeah. one, so I should. Tell you why I think they're making a difference. Draw, 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 draw. And then I draw. Rick, don't eat right now. Oh, by the way, I was filming this, and the cat's food bowl was right next to where I was standing, and he kept, like, making terrible slurpy noises. And then I draw him, and I try different things every time I draw. Ow, stop biting. And I might push in on that for the joke in case everyone Stop. missed it. Um, and I try different things every time I draw. Ow. Stop. I try different things every time I draw. Ow. Ow. Do one fifty. I've got the chat covering up my um my like editing stuff here. Uh, maybe I should put it down here. I don't know where the best place for you guys to live on the on the premiere screen is. Ow. D different things every time I draw. Ow. Stop fighting. Is that is that too fast? I'll leave it for now. We'll see. Cassie has to go. I'm sorry. I'm glad that I made your day a little bit better. Have a good day too. Imperfectly airbrushed. Is this your second live stream? It is! Hands up if you went to both- went to? If you were at both my first and my second live stream. Second being this one, first being that train wreck that was a lot of fun, but was admittedly a train wreck. Let's see, I wanted to ask for advice. I've already been in art school for a while and I'm not sure how to proceed. Wait, so you were accepted to art school and then you- they just told you no- no more? You can't come here anymore? Mary, what's going on, girl? I draw. Ow. Stop fighting. Toby was, Ash was, Pinkta was, Alice, Michaela Edwards, Mary. Hand is up, hands up. Look at all those hands up. She caught it. Aww. Nicole says I tried catching up on the first one and I made it about 1.5 hours in. I yeah. D uh, so you made it to me starting to edit. It was a it was a long hard road. Uh, ow! Stop fighting, Ricky. And then I draw him and I try. And then I draw. Wait, did I do it? Things every time I draw. Ow. Thanks to your suggestions, today we're gonna draw one of my favorite politicians. Yeah, I'm put, I'm bringing politics into this. Elizabeth Warren. Every time I say the name, I look a little bit sad, and I don't know why. If you like how that, if you like, how, if if you like how she looks, stick around and see how I do it. If you like how she looks, stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. If you like how she looks, stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Let's get into it. Don't fight. Let's get into it. 
Don't fight. Hmm. Do I include both bird moments, or do I just do the eyebrow snap? I don't know. So that's that's the skeleton of the intro done. Subscribe. To hey, subscribe. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Beth doesn't know how to talk. The live stream. Hey you. Hey you. Subscribe to Snarled. Hey you. Hey you. Hey you. Subscribe to Snarled. Like this video if you liked it. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Below. Hey you. Subscribe to Snarled. Like this video if you liked it. Check out my channel. Hey you. Subscribe to Snarled. Like this video if you liked it. Check out my channel, Beth B. Rad, if you like me and want to see more of me talking at a camera. And leave me a comment down in the comment section below telling me who you want me to draw on the next Rad Portraits. And until then, make a difference, guys. And until then... Is that, that was really what I chose to say at the end. And until then, stay persistent. Yeah, that's good. That's better. Stay persistent. And until then... And until then... Stay persistent. Draw on the next red portraits. And until then, stay persistent. Stay persistent. Does that bother you? Oh. <laughs> Garris, you sweetheart. And until then, you know, and until then, stay persistent. That smile. Look at that fake smile. <laughs> it's it's real. It's just like performance smile. All right. Sorry if I'm ignoring the chat. I don't mean to. Keep looking away, and then lovely people say lovely things. Please, for the love of God, do a slow omin ominous zoom on your eyebrows. Ah. Lakeisha O'Neill. Am I saying that right? Lakeisha? I made it through the whole last art stream and it was 100% worth it. Awesome to watch process. Thanks for these. Dang. You. Dang. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for being there. Thanks for being here. I want to call you guys my gay art babies, but I don't want that to be offensive in any way, so I keep shying away from it. But if you were here last time, you know. You know my, you know, you're my gay art babies. Um... I'm still trying to figure out what Snarled is. Hey, me too. I think Snarled's still trying to figure out what Snarled is. Um, okay, you guys are asking great questions, and I want to I wanna get into them. Mary, I was at a different art school for fine art. Already graduated. Congratulations. I want to go to illustration for an illustration program, but I didn't get into that program. Gotcha. Is it because illustration is looking for like a very um, technically proficient drawer? Someone who can like draw really accurate hands and faces and things? Do you have to go to art school to make it in an art career? No, you do not. I'm going to make a video on that. I keep saying, like for the last six months I've been talking about how I'm going to make a video on that, but I haven't yet. I will, I promise. I just want to get my thoughts together. Um, but what I wanted to address, there's something I said earlier and then I forgot. Ooh. Yeah, still trying to figure out what Snarled is, and then how much research do you do for these? So Snarled originally was supposed to be, and I think still is, a a place for women who don't fit into, like, the normal, I guess, women content areas to fit into. So you've got, like, um, cutesy beauty vlogger, uh, beauty guru, um... What is, what's the channel called? It's like Cosmopolitan, I, I should say. There's like the Cosmopolitan type girl who is there for like lipstick advice and boy, boy crush stuff. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. There's that. And then there's also like the hardcore side of being a woman, like sex trafficking and, and dark, gritty reality of my, my experience with mushrooms and heroin. Uh... And so Snarled wanted to be in the middle of that. Like, what are just, like, hardworking, edgy, but...
but not too edgy, I guess, women doing? What's their perspective? What do they want to talk about? Um, and let's make a platform for that. And what's happened is they've inadvertently attracted a lot of like artist types and um, performance types because it's YouTube and everybody's performing. Phone battery, 5% human energy, 1. Oh, good night. Have a nice night. Plug in your phone so you can wake up to a nice alarm. So that's where Snarled started off, started off and uh, it's still trying to like find content that people like that it wants to make. Um, and I think that's forever going to be a journey. And then the other question was, oh, you guys are, you guys are great. You're flooding me. Keep forgetting it. How much research do I usually do for these? Uh, probably if it's somebody that I know, like a lot of the research has already been done. If it's somebody that I don't know, like I knew of Elizabeth Warren and I like, like the politics and stuff that I've seen from her, but, um, like I didn't know her education background. I didn't know what kind of platform she ran on. I just kind of know the popular stuff that's being said about her that she's saying nowadays. So it took me probably an hour of doing research, doing a lot of reading. And it, it's inspiring because it makes you find people that you, you turns out you really like. And Elizabeth Warren is someone whose voice and interests and um, desires in politics are something that I definitely get behind. And I want to buy her book and read her biography. Snarled is a woman snarling back at society. Yeah, you could kind of say that. Um, are you going to be drawing any more males anytime soon? If so, I'd really love it if you draw Olin Rogers. I love Olin Rogers. He's one of my first YouTube, um, follow, the first people that I followed on YouTube. His poop in the stall story gets me every time. So yes, I am going to draw more, more boys, um, eventually. Right now, there's this one, it's Elizabeth Warren. I have, um, oh yeah, RuPaul. I'm doing RuPaul next week, and then the week after that is going to be... Audrey Hepburn. And then I'm open to suggestion. Mm. Do you like math? Because math and art don't go together. Ooh, I do not know how to pronounce your name. Bing? Oh, I did it. I, I figured it out. Bing, it says, do you like math? I don't like... Um, I don't like math the way that school makes you learn math, but I like math in its practical applications. Like, I like logic, and I like um, the way that math does fit into art, because editing is a lot of math. Storytelling is a lot of math. Everything is formulas. Everything has an algorithm to it, um, and a pattern to it, and being able to recognize and utilize those patterns in artful ways is the way to get artists to like math, not to sit them down with the most boring book in the world and have them just stare at trig questions. Okay, let's get our music bed down so we can edit these things. I'm going to go into project. I'm going to go for a different previous project and pull the intro music. Slap that down. Hi, hello, my name is Beth. Hi. And then edit the intro to be... Hi, hello, my name is Beth, and this is Red Portraits, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think is making a difference. Gotta zoom in, as per usual. Culture who I think is making a difference. Tell you what. Difference. Tell you what. I think they're making a difference. And then I draw them, and I try different things every time I draw. Ooh, that plan, that worked perfectly with this music. Hi, hello, my name is Beth, and this is Red Portraits, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture. Caleb Brown, have you done any women of color? I don't know many super successful scientist black women other than the ones in Hidden Colors, but I'd really love if you could find any and draw some. That's a great suggestion. Yes, I do do women of color. I have done a couple on Snarled. Um, yeah, give me the resources to find those women. 
Nope, that's not, that's stupid. Don't give me the resources. I have the internet. I can do a quick Google. They're great. I can do it. It looks like your bird is an angel. The birds are angels and demons on your shoulder. Yeah, dude. Helena says, I'm really fond of Percy Jackson books. I found fan art of the characters. Can I send you a few pictures of them and give you info on the characters so you can draw them in red art? I really like that Percy Jackson story. I haven't read the books, but I did see the first movie, and I thought it was pretty good. So yeah, send them to me. We'll see. Like, I have to get everything approved through Snarled first, so um, some people I can do and some people I can't do. But yeah. Hi, hello, my name is Beth, and this is Red Portraits, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think is making a difference. I'll tell you why I think they're making a difference. And then I draw them, and I try different things every time I draw. Ow, stop fighting. Thanks to your su- Ow. Ow. Ow, stop fighting. Thanks to your su- Please tell me I stared at her for a while. Thanks- Ow, Ow. stop fighting. Nope, I look at myself in the monitor. Cool. Smooth. Um, and I try different things every time I draw. Ow, stop fighting. Thanks to your suggestions, today we're gonna draw one of Ow, stop fighting. Thanks Ow, stop fighting. That's good. Thanks every time I draw. Uh but that's a bit of a hard push. Things every time I draw. Ow, stop fighting. Time I draw. Every time I draw. Ow, stop. Ah, uh, when to do the cut? When to do the cut? Different things every time I draw. Ow, stop. Different things every time. Do I even do a cut? Time I draw. Ow, stop fighting. Maybe not. And then we push in here so I can do. For who I think is making a difference. I'll tell you why I think they're making a difference. And then I draw them, and I try different things every time I draw. Ow, stop fighting. Thanks to your suggestions. Did that just animate? No. I'm losing my mind. Anna Akana, my girl. I love that woman. What's weird is, like, I know her. Uh, so we work together, so I know her, and it, it feels weird to do a video like this about someone that you know because I don't think that I would be like hey Anna check out this video that I made of you also I'll have your invoice here for you by Friday it's just weird fighting. thanks to your suggestions ow stop fighting thanks to your suggestions today we're gonna draw ow stop fighting thanks to your suggestions today we're gonna draw one of my favorite politicians yeah I'm, put I'm bringing politics into this Elizabeth Warren if you like how uh sorry right now I'm trying to find a good place in the music to, to replace this this cut cuz it doesn't feel right. Things every time I draw. Ow, stop fighting. Thanks to your suggestions yeah, today. We're going to draw one of my favorite politicians. Yeah, I'm put, I'm bringing politics in politicians. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm put <laughs> Scream at scream at them Beth. Scream at the fans. Why is your tongue brown? Why is your tongue always brown? My tongue's always brown. It's because I drink coffee. My favorite politicians. Yeah, I'm bringing politics into this. Too much of a push. What we got? 130? 120. We'll go 130. Yeah, I'm bringing... It... Maybe I should just do like a crazy push. We're going to draw... Because I'm like insecure about it. Draw one of my favorite politicians. Yeah, I'm bringing politics into this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did it. I like that. Politics into this. Elizabeth. 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 What are you guys saying? Miguel Angel, nice to see you making videos again. Nice to be making videos again. Coffee's the best thing in the world, Yashe. Also, hi, welcome. I saw that you said earlier that I'm streaming again. Yeah. Let's see. I'm really excited to watch you edit again. It's inspired me to make my personal edits more dynamic. Ooh, yeah. Push into your eyes. Real close. 
have fun with it. Mary, any thoughts? All right. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to see like the whole stream of what's been going on. I've improved a lot, and I was really excited for the program, but I don't really know what to do since I didn't get in. What school did you apply to? Was it like Cal Arts or RISD or something? Yeah. And what do you want to do? Those are my two questions. The what do you want to do is the more important question. Yeah, I'm bringing politics into this. Elizabeth Warren. If you like. Okay. So. While I wait for Mary to get back to me. Cosmic Studios, do you remember me from the last stream? Well, more like a month ago. Ooh, you teasing me. I do remember you, Cosmic Studios. Don't don't test me though, because I won't be good at it. Um, where are my birds right now? They are. Ow! I'm fine. I just hit my funny bone. Ow! They're on this side of the screen, in their cage, sleeping, because it's bedtime for everyone but me. Um. Right, so Snarled wants me to get into like the reveal faster. So I'm going to real quick show like the last part of this drawing. Oh, I was listening to my brother, my brother and me during this whole drawing, and then the capture recorded the audio, so it's going to play. Oh, he burned his initials into the carpet with lighter fluid. No it's going to play a podcast while I'm previewing video. So that's a little bit annoying, but fun, but annoying. Wait, how long are you? 13 seconds? No. Yeah? Is this, is this for throwing away? This is for throwing away. I don't know if you see these timestamps. But some of these, this was a three hour long drawing. How's Mike doing? Is he feeling better? Mike was sick last week. He had lost his voice. Um, and then we went to the doctors today and he's got some medication to help his sickness. And he's, yeah, he's fine. It's, it's nothing serious or dangerous or anything like that um it's just been difficult to like do a let's play channel where you have to talk a lot when your voice is garbaged so just a lot of a lot of tea and <sighs> robotussin and he's back to back to being good will you be editing until 1 a.m like last time yes yes i will i'll trade you my african gray for your teals no thank you that's too much responsibility. That's like having a four-year-old kid who's, like, really dumb. Like, African greys are very smart birds, don't get me wrong, but also... They're... they're if you compare an African grey to a four-year-old child, then your African grey is like a real dumb four-year-old child. Ha 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 ha! Jokes. Anyway. That's not a good joke. What clip do I want to use? Why aren't these in order? Why can't... Wait a second. Wait a second. Guys, hold on. Okay, cool. Wait. Yeah, okay, cool. I was scared that I didn't record the beginning of the drawing, but I did. Okay, so that's the order of the drawing. And I want to do... Yeah, where did you fit in? You go right here. Yeah, Ash, I'm only eight episodes away from finishing the Danganropa series. It's seriously about 29 hours worth of video. Yeah, it's a lot. Can I talk? Can you talk about bird care? I really want to adopt one. I was wondering what types and all that stuff. Uh, birds are um, needy. 
birds are a very long commitment. They live longer than dogs and cats do. A lot of them live longer than you will. Uh, like if you get a parrot, that's a 50 year to a 70 year commitment. They live a very long time and they're very, very, very needy. Um, I would not recommend to get a parrot. I think that, I, I don't think that there is a cage large enough for a parrot, like a large parrot. There's enough, if you do want to do that, like go for a rescue. Don't, don't get a baby just because we don't need more sad parrots in the world. They pull out their feathers when they're stressed out, and you see a lot of that in captivity. But um, the smaller birds are less, I guess, cognitively um, apt. They're, <laughs> they're not as smart, and so they do better uh, not understanding what they're missing out on by being locked in a cage all day. And it's really, it's unfair to any pet to leave for as long as us humans have to leave to go to work and stuff. So it's like, it's like complicated. Um, but I have cockatiels because they're sweet and dumb and they only live for 17 years, which is like still a very long time. If you think about it, I'll be, oh boy, I'm 26. I don't know math. I'll be in my 40s when these birds are done, when these birds ascend to heaven. And that is a lot. Oh, Helena, did you ever have braces? I got them and they're a pain. Yeah, I did. I have braces for three years, which is a very long time to have braces. And I don't... It was not fun, but it was worth it. But it was not fun. But it was worth it, but it was not fun. This is annoying. My capture recorded... Um, I recorded Photoshop, but it didn't record like the top and the bottom of the screen, and so my Photoshop is like all weird. Oh well, okay. This Elizabeth Warren. Um, let's do like a cool music drop so that we can really quickly. Listen to itch my nose really quickly. Just kind of breeze through what this is going to ultimately look like. I started downloading music stings, which are 15 second or less long music bits. And that would be perfect for this. Really, I just need like four seconds, if that. Is that crazy loud or are you guys okay? Abby Rose, what do you do when your hand cramps? Ah, my hand doesn't cramp. I don't get hand cramps. My legs get cramped because I sit on them, which is probably not the best. <laughs> Hi, loud music. Yep, that's gonna be it. For now, maybe I change. It's really loud. I literally jumped. That shit was metal. Okay, I'll turn the desktop audio down a little bit. Yeah, because my mic's not getting that loud. Here, I'm going to test it. Slay well. Get ready. Super loud. Coming, coming at ya. Bing, bing, boom. How's, how, that's better. Okay, so you can hear me better over top of it. Blah. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't mean to scare you with the music. What sucks about the music library in Premiere is that unless I go in and custom change all of the audio down, like, crank the decibels down, whenever I preview it, it previews full blast, and I don't really edit my my videos to be full blast. They're always at negative six, which I was told one time is, like, the place where audio should be. Eh. Okay, much better. Cool, cool. We fixed it. It's not going to be terrible anymore. My favorite politicians. Yeah, I'm bringing politics into this. Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren. Did it. But did it. Jenny. Warren. Elizabeth Warren. Oh, wait. 
politics into this. Elizabeth Warren. Do something from the beginning of it. So this is the first time I've, I've done this, like tease the end at the beginning. So please pardon me as I try to figure out the best way to do it. It might take me a second. Building half. Oops. This goes here. And then I like fake guys. I did not actually get a tattoo. No one has asked, so I'm sure you, all of you are stars sharp enough to know. Uh, but I did pretend to like mock this up on my arm to make it look like I did. So I'm going to show that in a second here. I have to import it. Let's see. Snarled, project files, nope. Footage, Elizabeth Warren. That's a video. Cool. Open that. Warren. With Warren. Hmm, I don't know how to do this yet. I think this is too much. I think I should just do, like, a s part of the song that I use. Ugh, this is so, you know, I don't like this. Nick Scardarossi. Nick Scardarossi, what are you doing here, boy? Well, you tell me to go to bed. You go to bed. Hannah, you you go to bed. What are you guys doing up? You go to bed. I got edit video. I told Snarl I'd get it to him tonight. <laughs> I lied. Well, I didn't lie, but I lied. Because it's definitely going to go up after midnight. This <laughs> Elizabeth Warren. Eh. Okay, let's just... Do that for now. If you like how she looks, stick with Warren. If you like how she looks, maybe, maybe I just, maybe I just, maybe I just do this. Warren. If you like how she looks, stick around. I hate it. I hate it. I don't. I don't know yet. Warren. If you like how she looks. If you like how she looks, stick around. No. One, five. We'll pan the position. Make it so she moves to the left. Do one oh five. Pan this. So I move to the right. Mary, yeah, you got back. Sheridan College in Canada. I really want to tell stories and talk to people, either through comics, movies, or games. That's a lot of things that you could do. I don't know anything about Canadian colleges and, like, what it takes to get into some. Because I know there are a lot of art schools in America that are pretty elitist and um, 
hard to get into. But then there's a lot of schools that need people to be there, so they will accept a lot of a lot of different like talent ranges. Um Guys, I can hear Mike play Zelda out in the office. No, out in the living room. And I want it so bad. I want to play Zelda so bad. And I can't play Zelda so... I'm sad. want to play Zelda so bad. But can't, so am sad. <clears throat> Elizabeth Warren. Um, you know what? Okay. 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 Let's do that. I had an idea. We're just gonna start. We're just gonna start the music here, and that'll be the way to get into it. What song should we use for Elizabeth Warren? This isn't a dead person, so it can't be somber. It doesn't have to be somber, I should say. She's not a rock star, so it shouldn't be rocky. It should just be like fun and jivey, and she's an educator. But there's not like music that screams educator. Okay, music testing time. I don't think it'll be too loud, but just in case. Ugh. I think I just used that one. <laughs> what if I just do like a sad cello the whole time? I don't hate it. Do I? Wait, do I like this? Happy Pep, thanks for being here. I hope that you have nice dreams. And yeah, good night. Hold on, let's preview this cello song for a little bit. That's so weird, this is so, it'd be so weird to play that. Okay, instead, let's let's find a new song. If you've ever wondered how I find my music, hey, this is it. So this is YouTube's, um, if you go into Creator Studio, if you have a, a Google account and you're on YouTube, you'll go here. And you got the dashboard, video manager, live streaming, that's where you guys are. <laughs> Uh, but down in Create, there's a Create tab, and there's an audio library where you can download a bunch of really remarkably good songs for being um, free. And no one will ever flag you for using them. So, we want... Let's do Classical Funky? <laughs> that doesn't exist! <laughs> Okie dokie. Mary, do you have any thoughts on how I should proceed with your college situation? Mm. Apply to other colleges. See, oh, you have a degree, though, so what's stopping you from just doing it, from just working in those fields and trying to find um, a hookup? You're 23 years old, perfectly old enough to, like, get in there and do stuff. Um, yeah, why not? Why not get an internship or apprentice, apprentice, apprentice under uh, someone who's doing what you like, versus pouring thirty thousand dollars a year back into school? Although in Canada, maybe they do it differently. I don't know. Classical happy. This is gonna be like weird. Oh no, this is this isn't what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting. No, Yankee Doodle, no. 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 Okay. Mm, not sure this is gonna work. <sighs> um. Alternative and punk. Funky. I like funky songs. Beth, can I be your apprentice? I don't know. Can you? I'm happy to help when I can. Um, if it's possible. Spider juice? It's a 
terrible name. Ambient. Funky ambient? No. Bright ambient? I guess I'm kind of worried I'm not good enough and I'll flop. I'm always worried that I'm not good enough. Every artist is worried that they're not good enough. Um, especially, like, once you start finding a, a hint of success, it's more likely that people are going to come at you about, like, you shouldn't have that success because you're not good enough. And then also you're telling yourself that all the time. It, there's never a good time to start because you're never going to feel like you're good enough to start. So 60% of it is just putting yourself out there, putting yourself in the place where you might fail. And I keep saying this, but it keeps ringing it true. You just got to chase your fear when it comes to stuff like that. Um... Because in all likelihood, what you fear is is what you want. It's just scary to fail. And what you're not doing is um, risking failure. And everybody fails. We've all made mistakes. We all say crazy, dumb stuff. So it doesn't hurt. Like it, it Really, at the end of the day, what what's the worst that's going to happen? You don't get a job? You don't... Someone doesn't buy your artwork, like like your reputation isn't hinging on the first thing that you do. It just feels that way because the first time you do it, it's a hundred percent of the times that you've ever done it. You know. Oh, I'm sorry, Sydney, that your cockatiel flew out the window. I also had a cockatiel fly out the window. My dad, I was coming home from school. Uh, I got home, the bird was gone, and my dad was like, yeah, oops, open the window to, I don't know, if he was smoking or if he was vacu cleaning something, um, and the bird, who normally was totally chill on his cage all the time, was like, this is my moment, and just flew out. We never saw her again. I was very sad. But it happens. Uh -huh. Are you a Gryffindor? Because I feel like pursuing art requires so much courage. I'm a Ravenclaw because I think too much. Um, there's you'd be surprised. I've, I'm constantly surprised by how I guess lucrative the art world is. Um, we're always told that it's nonsense and unimportant, but at least in the advertising world, artists are very, very, very important. No one can sell anything without it looking good. And if you know how to make something look good, um, here's, here's a million dollars. Not that much, but enough. Ooh, what is this? I like this. Is there a funky fresh beat that comes after this? Or is it just chill the whole time? <laughs> it didn't get funky fresh. And you guys are telling sad pet stories in the chat. I have no escape. That's not music. Mary, good luck. If you if you want to talk more, just send me an email or hit me up on on Twitter. Um, good night, and I I hope that you feel better in the morning, cause that sucks. But it'll be okay. Ultimately, it'll be okay. Cow, Jesus! Everybody's cat's dying. Everybody, everybody's 
got dead animals. That's true. I have a lot of dead animals, too. But I've been around and had a lot of pets growing up. So, obviously, their lives come to an end in either peaceful or not so peaceful ways. Why am I talking about this? Get, let's just find a song. Mm -mm, too vibey. Mm -mm. Funky. Funky dance. Oh, hell yeah. Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> no. Sarah! I had my first improv show last week and I did my monologue about all my dead cats. Good job! That's great! Did people run with it? Were people like, yes, awesome, all of all of these scenes are going to be really funny? Because sometimes the best monologues to do comedy out of are monologues that deal, a lot of time I should say, are monologues that deal with like very strong emotional reactions and I imagine that your, your, uh, <sighs> cat's dying would incite some emotional reactions. I am about to graduate a four-year concept art for a video game and animation program, and the fear of failure is so real. It's so real, and it plagues all of us all the time. But you just do, you just keep doing it, because what, what else are you going to do? Sit at home? Watch your cats die? You, you got to do it. And if you fail, you fail. And that's fine. That's fine. And if you succeed, then that's great. And you learn more from a failure than you do from a success. So here's to the failures. Here's to the losers. Here's to the failures. We're smarter for it. And everybody who is successful, by the way, has failed a lot. Okay. What the... Eh? I'm going to go into music. My music is how it's in my Beth B. Rad audio from YouTube. What are we gonna call it? Is this fun and funky? This is a fun and funky song. Hi, Mike. Everyone says hi. Hello, everybody. I don't know if you could hear him. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm keeping anybody up. I didn't mean to do that. I just figured if I was going to be here doing this, it might be cool if we were all here doing this. Or ra rather, whoever wants to be. Okay, I found my song. Down for whatevs. Let's get rid of this. Let's put this in here. Okay, so we're going to have this change on the downbeat of this song. Look at this. Elizabeth Warren. Maybe give it a little bit of breathing room. This is Elizabeth Warren. You like how she bring the levels down negative five. Actually, was that that bad? Was that that bad? You like how she looks? Down to negative twenty. You like how she looks? Stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. If you like how she looks, stick around. That doesn't quite time out the way that I want it to, so let's try this. If you like how she looks, stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. Let's get into it. Let's how I did it. Let's get into it. They're a really good downbeat on this. It's a really fun, like, bing bang, bing bang boom. Pwet. No, there isn't. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to. The joke of the don't bite. Finish your thought. For the joke of that, I'm going to um, 
cut the beginning of this part of the song and overlay it over top of the song I've got here so that there's more of like a hit when the music comes back. I gotta time it out right. And that's not right. Okay. Are you going to do more VR art in the future? Mm, yes, the answer is yes. I don't know when, though. You should try one with Prismacolor pencils, because it'd be cool to ha see how you use them. I used to use Prismacolor all the time. I should break those out. I keep forgetting that I have them. Brianna Collins. Hey, Beth, thanks for doing red art, because ever since I started watching it, I've gotten back into art. I stopped for a while because it got too easy. I didn't push myself. Oh, Brianna, I'm so glad. Good. I'm glad that you got back into it. Um, I think Casey Neistat's a really good example of someone who's like, oh, this thing became easy and kind of boring for me, so I'm going to try a new thing. I'm going to stop doing the thing that's easy and boring and challenge myself with something that's, like, scary and new. Hi, Mike. Hello. Can you hear yourself eating cereal on my microphone? Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I don't know if they can hear you. Oh, the bird can hear you, and that's why they're yelling. That's what you're saying. Gotcha. My headphones are on, so it's hard for me to hear the bird. <sighs> um, I think it's too late. I think you need to bring her onto your shoulder. Or feed her some cereal. Did Does this even work? If you like how she looks, stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Let's get in. Sorry, Mike. Pidgey loves Mike, and so if he's in here, especially if he's eating, he uh, the bird just goes nuts. Let's get into it. Okay. I'm trying to time my don't fight to go like with the music beat, into it. Okay. but I don't think it's possible. Okay. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. Seamless edit, yeah. Okay, let's watch the intro again. Hi, hello, my name is Beth, and this is Red Portraits, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think is making a difference. I'll tell you why I think they're making a difference. And then I draw them, and I try different things every time I draw. Ow. Stop fighting. Thanks to your suggestions, today, we're gonna draw one of my favorite politicians. Yeah, I'm bringing politics into this. Elizabeth Warren. If you like how she looks, stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. Let's get into it. Okay. Yep, that's good. I like that. I need to put an Elizabeth Warren title card right here, and then the beginning will be and then I desperately hope I'm spelling it right because oftentimes I don't real Elizabeth did I change the font for this? no I didn't, okay Michaela Edwards, I'm excited to see the finished video tomorrow. It goes up on Wednesday, right? Uh-oh. 
Oh, maybe for you that is tomorrow. Yeah, it goes up on the 29th. I'm supposed to have these videos to them a week before, and I have not been doing that, and so I'm gonna... I might have a couple more live streams where I'm um, editing a bunch of red art videos, so you guys will see them, like, in weeks in advance, because I really need to get on top of these things. Some guns are too good! Yeah! Guns, thanks! I like to pretend I have muscles. Uh, what if I just cover up my face with her name? Because you've, you've seen that. You've seen my face enough. Look at this. Elizabeth Warren. Stop. Okay. Takes into this. Elizabeth Warren. If you like how she looks, stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. Let's get into it. Go fight. Go fight. Okay. The music bed is down. The outro. this video if you liked it check out my channel Beth B. Rad if you like me and want to see more of me talking at a camera and leave me a comment down in the comment section below telling me who you want me to draw on the next red portraits and until then stay persistent does that bother you Aww. I'm going to nest this into like an outro Or an outro. And then I have that <clears throat> for when I need it. Okay. As per usual, materials go here and then. Maybe I already have a material list of what I used. That's it. That's what I did. That's what I used. Prince Mads, you keep asking. Help, I'm in a really nasty art funk and I don't know how to crawl out of this hole of self-destruction. How do you motivate yourself to keep arting even if you feel like all your art is crap? <sighs> I get this question a lot. And I feel like I answered it. I feel, I feel like I, I'm always answering it. Um, because it's the thing that like everybody struggles with all the time. And... The answer is just to keep making things, even if you hate it, um, just keep making things. And when I say making things, I mean like not just drawing, but if you want to cook and that counts as making things, you can do that. If you want to, um, I don't know, make a snake baby, just go crochet something. If you want to, just making stuff is good. Beth, don't forget to save. Thank you. I saved. Anna, you got my back, baby. You got my back. <laughs> How do you motivate yourself to keep arting even if you feel like all your art is crap? Maybe you do need a break. Maybe you do want to take a, a week or a month or a day, whatever it needs to be, off um, and step away from all of that in order to come back at it with like fresh fresh uh, opinions and eyes. And another thing is your work and your art and things that you make are going to be more informed by the other things that you do. And so if you're finding that you're just like doing art all the time, if you're drawing all the time, if that's all you're doing and you're getting burnt out on it, go on a hike, go see a movie, go um, climb a tree, lay in the woods. Maybe not lay in the woods, you don't want to get a tick. She loves you, Mike. I know, but it's Can you cover her? Yeah. Okay. Okay, 
so before I get into the editing of this so many interstitial shots I should edit the voiceover which I think is really long So I'm going to label this a different color so I know it's the voiceover. Bitty Bitty Tara, do you have to be a good artist to become an animator? No, you don't. You need to know how things move. And there's different kinds of animators. Um, when you work in advertising, you could be an animator who just makes text move. So someone, you just like type out a sentence and then make a kinetic type animation. And does that require drawing? Not at all. Oftentimes the jobs that I'm doing as an animator, I don't ever pick up a pencil because they hire animators. They don't hire designers who animate. Um, they'll hire a designer to like do the concept stuff um, and do like storyboarding and create the assets, but then they'll hire animators to then make those assets move. And so oftentimes you don't have to, but you should be like, should be able to animate really well and understand the basic animation principles and the stretch and the stretch what the bend and stretch what is that called it's like the first rule of animation um but like a, a cool thing to be able to do as an animator is to take a triangle and make a triangle look sad to make a triangle look excited to make a triangle look angry can you do that did that require any drawing then you're an animator and you don't have to draw. What program do you use for 2D animation? I animate everything I do in it, no. I animate everything I do in After Effects. Um, and my 2D animation, I don't do like frame by frame animation. I do motion graphics, so it's all After Effects. After Effects. Is this good? It's gonna be a long one. You ready? This is me talking to myself. Elizabeth Ann Warren. Elizabeth Ann Warren is an American academic and politician, and if I didn't already have a mom, I'd pick her as mine. I'd pick her as mine. Why do you talk like that? If I didn't have a mom, I'd... And if I didn't have... And if I didn't already have a mom, I'd pick her as mine. There's, there's a lot of lines in here that I just repeat over and over and over. Hi Beth, I was just wondering, as an aspiring graphic designer, I was wondering if you could give me some advice about art school being worth it, if you'd critique my portfolio. Um, yeah, send your portfolio to bethbred at gmail.com. I'll be happy to critique it. Um, is art school worth it? Short answer, the short answer is everybody has a different path. For some people it is. For most people, I'd say it's not. It's a very, very, very expensive thing to do for a degree that doesn't, that you don't necessarily need. And the best thing that comes out of art school is um, having having like a, a network, having everybody who attended that school before you and after you being a part of like a shared community. So if like people who went to College for Creative Studies contact me, um, I'm more likely to be like, oh yeah, we have something in common and so we should help each other out. And vice versa. Do you find your recorded voice weird anymore? Or is it just part of the job? It's just part of the job. I used to hate my voice, but now I'm over it. Ash, you getting heavy, girl. Uh, Gayla Brown, thanks for being here for so long. Good night. I pick her as mine. Currently serving as a senator... Where did I go to? College? The College for Creative Studies in Detroit, Michigan. It was okay. And if I didn't already have a mom, I'd pick her as mine. And I did really well with scholarships and like my dad helped out with um, paying for it, but I was still, after I graduated, I was still paying $400 a month for student loans, which is a lot. Hey mom, Beth, how do you get your art out into the world for commissions and projects when it is not digital? That's hard. Um, 
the commercial art world is pushing way more towards digital because digital artists can turn over their work faster. It's easier to deliver. Um, it's easier to email a digital file when you've just created it in Photoshop and just save and then attach it to an email versus like taking a picture and all of that stuff. Um, I mean, there's plenty of ways to do it. Just take take good scans of your work, take good photos of your work, put them up online, put them on Tumblr, um, document your process. I know I always loved seeing like the where it starts and then where it ends, what I'm doing right now. But yeah. What's been your favorite non-traditional medium that you've used? I guess different kinds of favorites. Uh, my favorite... My favorite experience has been like drawing in tilt brush, drawing in like the, the virtual reality space. That's awesome and weird and mind blowing, but it's not it's not super in, intuitive in that like I I can't make I can't draw really well in there. I can sculpt things to look kind of like other things, but if you'd ask me to like draw my boyfriend, it, it would look ho like a monster. Um and so a non-traditional medium, my favorite non-traditional medium is Photoshop. Because, like, everything I do is in there. Do I have an accent? I've been told I have a Michigan accent. Oh, you know, you, you asked, do you have a accent? A accent? I have a Michigan accent. It's a bit of a Midwestern there, eh? And sometimes I talk like this, but I don't I don't think of it. It's, and it's, it slips out sometimes, and I have to correct it, because otherwise I sound like I'm from Minnesota. Good morning from England! Hello! Sumi Neko, hello. And if I didn't already have a mom, I'd pick her as mine. Currently serving as a senator. Cur nope. Currently serving as a senior United States senator for Massachusetts. And then I don't. I just nailed that. I spent a long time trying to figure out how to say Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Okay. Currently serving. And then I mess it up. Currently serving as senior United States senator for Massachusetts. <laughs> Currently serving as senior United States Senator for Massachusetts, Warren was previously a law professor for more than 30 years and is recognized as one of the nation's and is recognized for more than 30 years and is recognized and is recognized and is recognized as one of the nation's top recognized as one of the Recognized as one of the nation's top experts on bankruptcy and the financial pressures facing middle class families. Alihihihi, that's a great name. I have a film analysis assignment due next week. What movie is good to pick apart? Brazil. The movie Brazil is great to pick apart. Brazil. I love that film. Um, I like sci fi for picking apart a lot. Um,. So Alien is really good. Eh, I took a sci-fi film theory class that was pretty pretty great. What are you using to edit? And did you pay for it? Yes, I paid for it. I'm not a college student anymore. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CC Creative Cloud 2015.4. So it's the the version right before the current version. Um, and for years and years and years, I did not pay for my Adobe software, and now I'm in a place where I can pay for my Adobe software, and my career is built. Like, I have a career because I use these softwares. These softwares. So I pay for it now. And is recognized as one of the nation's top experts on bankruptcy and the financial pressures facing middle-class families. Pancakes are bomb forward. What did you think I did? But, but let's start in the beginning. In Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, during the summer of 1949, Warren was born. Meg T, you're exactly right. That's exactly what I do. The youngest with, the youngest, the youngest with three older, yeah. The youngest with three older brothers. She would later describe her family life as teetering on the ragged edge of the middle class. When she was 12, her father had a heart. When she, when she was 12, her father was 12. When she was 12, her father had a heart attack and was unable to work. By 13, Warren was already waiting papers at paper. <laughs> By 13, Warren was already waiting tables and was unable to work. 
By 13, Warren was already waiting tables. By 13, by 13, Warren was already waiting tables at her aunt's restaurant to help out the family. Perhaps that's what inspired her incredible work ethic. Who knows? Maybe you're just born with it. Warren married, Warren married, Warren married her high school sweetheart. Warren married, Warren, Warren married her high school sweetheart, Jim Warren, when she was only 19 years old. And after moving to him, what? And after moving to Jim Warren, when she was only 19 years old, and to him, <laughs> Anna, you hard. You going hard. Where do you work? And Brenda Go, did you ever have a point in your life where you wanted to quit drawing slash YouTube? Eh, I'm a binger, so like I go I go hard into something for like a long time and then I don't want to do it anymore. So I'll do like a whole month of vlogging every single day and then I'll take three months off, <laughs> which is not what you're supposed to do, but it's just because I like lose the motivation to do it. Um, but as far as like full-on quitting, I've never wanted to quit drawing, never wanted to quit YouTube. Um, nothing bad has happened to, to be like, D I don't want to do this anymore. 15 years old, and after moving with him to Houston, she enrolled in grad- I work for the NHS. Ah, cool. Graduated from the University of Hills- I guess I need tips for commissions, Lilac asks. I'm in high school and could use a few extra dollars. Any tips? Hmm. Ask people if they want drawings. Um, I, I have a friend who was moving to New York, and she put out a, a message on Facebook. And she was like, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm moving to New York. I draw these bottle babes, she called them, where she'd, like, draw a little cartoon version of you inside of a bottle with like one f flower that you like um, and there were sixty dollars a pop the ones that she did <laughs> are we distracting you yeah you distracted me there were sixty dollars a pop and she had a bunch of friends say like yes I'll support you I'll I want to help you move to New York and so yes I will ask for a, a bottle babe I got two of them one of Mike and one of me um, and it was just because she put out a message on Facebook that said, like, hey, I, I want, I need some extra money. I have this thing to offer. If anybody would like, like it, here it is. I also got a buddy who did, um, she did heart butts, where she would draw just a heart, but then if you put a line down the middle of it and then, like, panties on it, it becomes a butt. And so she would do these heart butt commissions for whoever wanted for, like, $15 a pop. So what do you draw? What do you like drawing? Um, a lot of people do commit like original character commissions. Tell me, tell me who to draw. Tell me what to draw, and I'll draw it. Just gotta like offer, and social media is a great place to do that. Good night, Helena. Thanks for being here. I love you. Meg T. Yeah, jack of all trades. Um, I heard recently from that CCS thing the seminar I gave earlier, or not earlier, but I gave last week that I talked about earlier, um, one of the people in that group said that they had an instructor that told him what you should do is be a master of, uh, wait, okay, what you should do is be a jack of all trades, master of one. So pick one thing to be like proficient at, and then you can continue to do a bunch of other things in a great fun way. Incredible work Maybe you're just born with Good night, Alexis Warren Ward. Her high school sweetheart, Jim Warren, when she was only 19 years old. Jim Rose, Beth, what camera and or microphone do you think are best for recording videos? I don't know, man. I do my best with what I have. Uh, Casey Neistat's probably a better person to go to for that, but he's, like, really high-end. Um, microphone, I can endorse the Zoom mic. This is only $100. Um, Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. Looks like this. Ignore the, the tripod, that's not, that's not a part of it, but yeah. I use this, um, Dot-a-Lottle. Dodie Clark uses the same one, that's why I bought it, because I like her sound quality. And after moving with him to Houston, she enrolled in... Itty bitty Tara, how long does it make, take for you to make a red art from the moment that you start filming to finish editing? Eh, like nine hours. It takes too long. Oops, hit the microphone. 
Good night, Brenda. Thanks for asking questions and being a part of the stream. I really enjoyed it. Years old, and after moving with him to Houston, she enrolled and graduated from the University of Hills. From the uni and after moving with, after moving, to 19 years old, and after, and after moving with him to Houston, she enrolled and graduated from the University of Houston with a Bachelor of Science degree in Speech Pathology and Audiology. Oof, what are these things even? She had always aspired to be a. She had. A, she had all. She aspired to be a teacher, but without a proper teaching certificate, she could only work with disabled children. And tell me how that makes sense. Anyways, it was the 80s. The teen 80s. When she got prego, she got Anyways. Anyways. And tell me how that makes sense. Anyways. How that makes sense. It was the 80s. Anyways, she got prego, moved to New Jersey, had a baby, enrolled in Rutgers School of Law in Newark, got prego again, got her JD, passed the bar, had her baby, and worked from home. I worked from home with no babies, and that's hard enough. And then she got a divorce, and by 1980, she was remarried to a law professor. Married to law professor. She was remarried in 1980. She was. And by 1980, she was re. Divorce, and by 1980, she was remarried to Alex Nugent. Beth, I have homework to do, but I love you so much that I'm watching you instead. Aw, I appreciate it in the moment, but you gonna be... You gonna be in a tough position tomorrow. In 1980, she was remarried to Lop Ooh, this is a tough edit. By 1980, she... Sh 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 Divorce, and by 1980, she was remarried nice Did he meow? Rick, are you being sweet? He's, uh, actually, I'm gonna move, uh, Anna Young says, I think I just heard Ricky, and I'm gonna move the webcam real quick so you can see what he's doing. Rick is just sitting, sitting on the desk with us. Mike's playing Overwatch. And I'm editing, I'm working. Mike's playing games and I'm working. I hate that pop sound that happens. So I'm trying to splice together two different sentences that I said because I like the beginning of the first one and the end of the second one. Ooh, I think I got it. A divorce, and by 1980, she was remarried to law professor Bruce Mann and started lecturing at colleges. Ooh. Life comes at you fast, right? Ooh. Colleges. Ooh. Ooh. At colleges. Life comes at you fast, right? At colleges. Life comes at you fast, right? Cow, what is the weird editing shit James does? Fast, right? Warren has taught at quite a few colleges around the nation. Zoe, that's so nice. She asks, who is the person who inspired you to start drawing? You are one of mine. Ah, ah. My mom. My mom is an artist. Um, and so I like grew up around it all the time. And it was like second nature to me because that's what my mom did. And so that's what I did. That's what the family did. And I didn't, I didn't connect that art could be a career because my mom was a stay-at-home mom and my dad like hated his job and so I was like oh a career is something that you hate and that you have to come home and escape from <laughs> and then I've kind of put two and two together that like obviously I was going to be an artist because that's what I did and I did it well and I liked it but it just didn't click that I could like my career at colleges life comes at you fast right Warren has taught at quite a few colleges around the nation. The University of Houston. Yeah, Cal, you gotta elaborate, boy. You mean it's keyboard sh shortcuts? Shortcuts? I can't talk. And that's hard enough. And then she got a divorce. And by 1980, she was remarried to law professor Bruce Mann and started lecturing at colleges. Life comes at you fast, right? Warren has taught at quite a few colleges around the nation. The University of Houston Law Center. The University of Texas. I might not leave this list in here in case I need to cut down. Law Center, University of Texas School of Law, University of Michigan, 
University of Pennsylvania Law the weird crossfade thing he does with audio that gets rid of the click noise when you do jump cuts. Hmm. Is it this? Of course, and by 1980, he was remarried to law professor. <laughs> 1980, he was remarried. Hey, that's great. Cal, thank you. I didn't know you could, you could, I knew you could crossfade footage, but I didn't realize you could crossfade audio like that. Of by 1980, he was remarried to law professor. Yeah. Cal, you taught me something, but but don't go. Professor Bruce Mann and started lecturing at colleges. Life comes at you fast, right? That's Warren right. has this taught at quite right. a few colleges around the nation. The University of Houston Law Center, the University of Texas School of Law, University of Michigan, the University of Pennsylvania Law School, and most recently at Harvard Law School. That's boring. So much of that is boring. University of Michigan, the University of Pennsylvania Law, right. Law School, and most few colleges around the nation. Most recently, try that crossfade again. Again. And most recently, at, most recently at Harvard Law School, colleges around the nation. Most recently at around the nation. Most. <laughs> Hear me go. Yeet. Can I? Nice shot. Nice shot. Thanks, Mike. The nation. Most recently at Harvard Law School. This powerhouse is the old. This nice. powerhouse is the. Old. What do you do when recording the information? Do you just record yourself reading off wiki? I write it. This was the script. Don't look at it too close because there's a lot of real real embarrassing spelling mistakes, but because I'm the only one looking at it, I don't correct them. Um, I try to find like a, a couple different sources and read them for uh, maybe 30 minutes. Or as I'm reading, um, I'll start taking notes and, and grabbing things that I think are important to touch on. And I end up like writing a, a script. This is a pretty long one. So I'll probably have to cut some stuff out. Most recently at Harvard Law School. This powerhouse is the old, this powerhouse is the old. And then I try to say it out loud and I say the wrong thing all the time. Are you going to finish this video tonight? Yes, I am. I'll it's just, I'm about to say, I almost said that it's just about done, but, um, yeah, this one, I'm aiming to have it done by 1 a.m., and I think I can do that. This powerhouse is the only tenured law professor at Harvard. Who are you thinking about drawing next? Next up is RuPaul, of Drag Race fame. This powerhouse, this powerhouse is the only tenured law professor at Harvard. This okay, so I'm about to say a bunch of things that sound impressive, but I actually don't know... I don't know what it means. Like, to have more citations than most people in the country sounds cool, but is it really that cool? The only tenured law professor at Harvard who studied at an academic... Bye, Anna Young. Thanks for being here. Had a lot of fun. I hope you have fun, too. Damn it. Nope. Who studied at an American... Okay. This powerhouse is the only tenured law professor at Harvard... Who studied at an American public university, and only two other professors in the nation has citation rates higher than Warren and Joseph in commercial law. That's probably impressive to some people. It doesn't mean anything to Warren me. Warren and Joseph in commercial law. In 2011, in 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination. Who's this red portrait on? Elizabeth Warren. She is the senator for Massachusetts. Massachusetts. In 2011. In 2011, Warren announced. In 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination for the 2012 election in Massachusetts. Massachusetts, no, that Massachusetts, Massachusetts. Okay, I need to take a better look. Mass. In two in two Democratic nomination for the 2012. It. In two. In two. In 2011. Can I suggest when editing audio, bring down the audio bar in time so you can see the audio so it's easier to edit? Bink, like that. Who studied at an American public university and only two other professors in the Thanks, Zoe. Nation has citation rates higher than Warren and Joseph in commercial law. In two, in two, I don't know what that click was. In, two, I have my in own 
In 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination of the 2012 election in Massachusetts. I can't say Massachusetts. Warren announced that in, 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 in 2011. Are we all here? In 2011. Alright, I can uh, rush this in there. Can you guys hear Mike? Ready? On my microphone. In 2011. Law. In 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination for the 2012 election in Massachusetts nice. for the U.S. Senate. Oh, that's a lot of fours. For the U.S. Senate. Got it, we got it, got it, got it. Um, the other being Price's Medals. What are you guys talking about? It's basically the metric for academic success, what other than that? being oh Price. Being Price's and Medals. Okay. Yeah, I figure... I. I knew it was impressive. I just don't. I'm showing my ignorance. The um, the number of citations. Careful. You're probably not gonna remember me, but you can just call me Alex. I'm gonna go drink coffee and crank out this workout and then sleep. Bye, Beth. Bye, Alex. What do you mean? I probably don't remember you, or I'm probably not going to remember you. That's a little bit sad. I hope that I do remember you. How do you go about talking to the camera? I had to record a monologue for my school, but it felt weird. I don't like acting or recording myself, but I want that to change. Do it more. It's super weird when you first start doing it because you're like talking to a camera and not a person. Maybe, maybe like cut your best friend's face out of a piece of paper and then put that over the camera, like so that their eyes so that the lens is like a hole in the middle of their face and then every time you look at it, it feels like you're looking at a person. Um, okay, okay, shoot, all right. Nice, nice barrier. Yeah, Mike in the background. Yeah, Mike is uh, playing, he's playing, not professional. Mike, what are you doing? He can't hear me, he's too deep in the game. He's playing competition, competitive, competitive Overwatch right now, so he's like talking to his team, man. The U.S. Senate. Oh, that's a lot of fours. Whatever. Her platform. Oh, that's a lot of fours. Whatever. Her platform came from her ex. Hi. Her plat. I'm working. Buddy, I'm working. Say hi to Rick. U.S. Senate. Oh, that's a lot Rick's of tail. Okay. In 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination for the 2012 election in Massachusetts for the U.S. Senate. Oh, that's a lot of. Her platform was of. Did I mispronounce Massachusetts again? And only two other professors in the nation have citation rates higher than Warren in bankruptcy and commercial law. In 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination for the 2012 election in Massachusetts for the U.S. Senate. No. I don't think I got a clean take on that. Nope. Who studied at an American public in 2011? No. In, two in 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination of the 2012 election in Massachusetts in Massachusetts for the U.S. Senate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Senate is not a word, Beth. Warren announced that. In 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination for the 2012 election in Massachusetts for the U.S. Senate. Massachusetts. Okay, I might have to Frankenstein this together. In Massachusetts for the U.S. Senate. Maybe I could just cut off that last dit. That's not a word. U.S. Senate. <laughs> no, Beth, no. U.S. Senate. I don't think I can. Senate. U.S. Senate. Maybe. 2011. The Senate. The U.S. Senate. Let's do that Senate. crossbait thing. Oh, that's a lot of four. U.S. Senate. Okay, I did it. Our election in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts. Twelve election. In Election in Massachusetts for in election in Massachusetts. 
election in Massachusetts for the U.S. Senate. That's a lot of fours. Her, her, her platform was, of course, based on her... Her platform... U.S. Senate. Her platform was, of course, based on her expertise, and in response to the claims that asking the rich to pay more taxes, and in response to the claims that asking rich to pay more taxes was, and in response, every time I say taxes, it sounds like I'm saying Texas. Her platform was, of course, based on her expertise, and in response to the claims that asking the rich to pay more taxes. How many people are watching right now? I have not been paying attention to it. Oh, 60, that's a lot. Taxes. And in response yeah, last time there was like, at the peak, I think there was 122 people watching, and for the most part, it was about 30 people watching throughout. Uh, those guys, you guys are the, right. you're the best. Pay more taxes. Her platform was, of course, based on her expertise, and in response to the claims that expertise Oops. delete this I'll get through the let me just like breeze through the rest of this video and then uh, we'll just put the rest of the thing together so you guys have something to actually look at so sorry if I'm focused right now I'm not sorry I'm gonna be focused right now and in response to the claims that asking the rich to pay and in response and in response and in response to the claims that asking and in response to the claims that asking the rich to pay more taxes was class warfare, she had this to say. There is nobody in the country who got rich on his own. Nobody. You moved your goods to market on the roads of the Ali, I know. Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm focusing on working. For, you hired workers. The rest of us paid to educate. You were safe in your factory because of police forces and fire forces that the rest of us pay for. That the rest of us and fire forces. That the rest of Hi. Oops. That the rest of us pay for. That the rest of us for fire forces. That the rest. That the rest of us paid for. You don't have to. You don't have to worry that marauding bands would come and seize everything at your factory and hire someone else to protect against us because of the work the rest of us did. And now look, you build a factory and you turned it into something terrific or a great idea. God bless. Keep a big hunk of it. But part of the underlying social contract is that if you. But part of the underlying social contract is you take a hunk of that and pay forward for the next. I couldn't stay alive. But the underlying aspect of it, but the, of it, but the underlying social contract is you take a hunk of that and pay forward for the next kid who comes along. She won the nomination. And later, under President Barack Obama, and later, she won the nomination. And later, during Barack, and later, you guys are funny. And later, during President Barack Obama's time in office, would be asked to use her knowledge to form the Consumer Financial. She won the nomination. And later, during. And later, during. She won the nomination. And later, during President Barack Obama's time in office, would be asked to use her knowledge to form the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the New Agent Bureau. The Consumer. Consumer financial knowledge to form the to form the consumer. Cal, this is super duper helpful. Thank you so much. To form the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, a new agency with the goal of keeping Wall Street banks and other financial institutions accountable to protect consumers from financial tricks and traps often hidden in mortgages, credit cards, and other financial products. Her efforts in the field have been praised by both sides of the aisle, that means Republicans and Democrats. And Time Magazine once referred to her as the new sheriff of Wall Street. Oh, no. Come on. When it comes to... Speaking of Democrats and Republicans, when it... 
Speaking of Democrats and Republicans, when it comes to her political affiliation, Warren voted Republican for many years, feeling that Republicans best supported markets. In 1995, she began voting Democrat, and she no longer believed that to be true. And ultimately, the woman believes that neither party should dominate his head. <laughs> and ultimately, the woman believes that... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah. I don't think he likes his team very much. Everyone's like, oh, what? Mike lost. Oh, sad Ralph, Mike. He goes, I'm not losing. I just, this teammate. And ultimately, the woman the believes message. that neither party should dominate, and her choices are driven by her role to be a great consumer advocate. Pay attention. I believe that to be true. And ultimately, the woman believes that neither party should dominate, and her choices are driven by her goal. Five should be a great consumer advocate. Just so happens that right now the Democratic Party thinks I'll consumer advocate. Let's finish this out with the topic of nevertheless, she persisted. Have you noticed a bunch of skin having human beings getting this series of words tattooed on them recently? Have you noticed a bunch of skin having human beings getting a series of words tattooed on them recently? A bunch of skin having human beings getting a series of words tattooed on them recently? Persisted. Have you noticed? Ooh. Meg T has a request for fresh plays. What? Meg T has a request for fresh plays. Hollow Knight? I'd love to play Hollow Knight. Can fresh plays play Hollow Knight? Yeah. Mike just said, I'd love to play Hollow Knight. Maybe you can stream Hollow Knight. What? Maybe you can stream Hollow Knight. He's busy. Uh, but maybe for streams, that'd be good. Right now, he's busy. He's, he's, I'm trying to talk to him, and he's like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. He huh. persisted. Have you noticed... Have you noticed a bunch of skin... She persisted. Have you noticed a bunch of skin-having human beings getting a series of words tattooed on them recently? Did you know that Elizabeth Warren was the accidental creator of this resounding battle cry? I don't love that wording, but it's too late. In I already February recorded it. This year, 2017, Warren stood in front of Congress to oppose the nomination of Jeff Sessions as U.S. Attorney, a federal judge. Nope. Warren stood in front of Congress to oppose the nomination of 2017. This is my newscaster voice. Warren stood in front of Congress to oppose the nomination of Jeff Sessions. Ooh, Sessions. Ooh. Well, I don't think I say it. She began. I did. Warren stood in front of Congress to oppose the nomination of Jeff Sessions from the U.S. Attorney to federal judge. Dick, you guys want Dick? I haven't done a Dick in so long. In February of this year, 2017, Warren stood in front of Congress. I'll do another Dick. I'll make another Dick. They want Dick. You should, you should do it again. We should make some. We should, yeah. Congress to oppose the nomination. In February of this year, 2017, Warren stood in front of Congress to oppose the nomination of Jeff Sessions from the U.S. Attorney to federal judge on the basis that he was racially biased and then an ugly babbling. Like, ooh, milky. She began to read a letter that Coretta Scott King. She began to read a letter that Coretta Scott King, Martin Luther King Jr.'s widow, had written about the man. Her Lauren loves cookies. Your sister. I'm sorry to. I'm sorry to tell you this, but your sister is now a lizard person. She's not a, a real person anymore. Uh, she was eaten, and her body has been taken over by a lizard person. She's not your sister. It's time for you to move. Leave her there, with her TV that's not on. I could do an art live stream deck. That's not a bad idea for Sarah. That's not a bad idea at all. 
she began to read a letter that Coretta Scott King, Martin Luther King Jr.'s widow, had written about the man. Presiding Senate Chair Steve Daines cut her off and Senate, and Senate Major cut her off and Senate Majority Leader. Megan! Hi, Megan! Megan! I see you, I feel you, I love that you're doing these editing live streams. Got go, got get into it! Yeah, dude! Please cut her off, and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell cited Senate Rule 19 as a... as to why. Rule 19 as a... as to... I'm trying to get through this voiceover, which is way too long. Fifteen as to why. And Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell cited Senate Rule 19 as to why. Rule 19 as to why. And Senate And Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell cited Senate Rule 19 as to why. Look it up. It wasn't intended for use in this way, but it does apply. Later, when outraged over the ridiculous use of Senate Rule 19 pressed him for comment, he remarked that she was warned. She was given an explanation. Nevertheless, so she persisted. And every woman ever said, Oh, hey, that's me too. And every woman ever And every woman ever said, Oh, hey, that's me too. I think I love you, Elizabeth Warren. I'm gonna leave you. I can't. I think I love you, Elizabeth Warren. You tenacious little honey badger. Tenacious little honey badger. Okay. How long is this? Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, yeah, six, and seventeen. Four minutes long? Jeez. Oh, jeez. That's too long. Elizabeth Ann Warren is an American academic and politician. And if I didn't already have a mom, I'd pick... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Politician. And if I didn't already have a mom, I'd pick her as mine. Currently serving as senior oh, United God. States Senator from Massachusetts, Warren was previously a law professor for more than 30 years and is recognized Holy as one shit. of the nation's top experts on bankruptcy okay. and the financial pressures facing middle-class families. But let's start in the beginning. In Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, during the summer of 1949, Warren was born. The youngest with three older brothers, she would later describe her family life as teetering on the ragged edge of the middle class. When she was 12, her father had a heart attack and was unable to work. By 13, Warren was already waiting tables at her aunt's restaurant to help out the family. Perhaps that's what inspired her incredible work ethic. Who knows? Maybe you're just born with it. Warren married, Warren married her high school sweetheart, Jim Warren, when she was only 19 years old. And after moving with him to Houston, she enrolled and graduated from the University of Houston with a Bachelor of Science degree in speech pathology and audiology. She aspired to be a teacher, but without Houston, she enrolled and graduated from the University of Houston she aspired to a science degree in audiology. She graduated from the world and graduated from the University of Houston. Right now I'm labeling things that I could potentially cut. She aspired to be a teacher, but without a proper teaching certificate, she could only work with disabled children. And tell me how that makes sense. It was the 80s. Anyways, she got prego, moved to New Jersey, had a baby, enrolled in Rutgers School of Law in Newark, Got prego again, got her JD, passed the bar, had her baby, and worked from home. I work from home with no babies, and that's hard enough. And then she got a divorce, and by 1980, she was remarried to law professor Bruce Mann and started lecturing at colleges. Life comes at you fast, right? Warren has taught at quite a few colleges around the nation, and most recently at Harvard Law School. This powerhouse is the only tenured law professor at Harvard who studied at an American public university, and only two other professors in the nation have citation rates higher than Warren in bankruptcy and commercial law. In 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination for the 2012 election in Massachusetts for the U.S. Senate. In, two th in 2011, oh, boy, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination of the 2012 election in Massachusetts for the U.S. Senate. Her platform... Got a little repeat in there. In, two th in 2011... In 2011... 
law. In 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination of the 2012 election in Massachusetts for the U.S. Senate. Her platform was, of course, based on her expertise. And in response to the claims that asking the rich to pay more taxes was class warfare, she had this to say. There is nobody in the country who got rich on his own. Nobody. You moved your goods to market on the... You moved your goods to market on the roads that the rest of us paid for. You hired workers the rest of us paid to educate. You were safe in your factory because of police forces yeah. and fire forces that the rest of us paid for. You don't have to... You moved your goods to market on the roads that the rest of us paid for. You hired workers the rest of us paid to educate. You were safe in your factory to educate. That the rest of us paid for. You don't have to... You don't have to worry that marauding... Educate. You don't have to worry that marauding bandits paid to educate. You don't have to worry that marauding You don't have to worry that marauding bands would come and seize everything at your factory and hire someone else to protect against this because of the work the rest of us did. And now look, you build a factory and you turned it into something for nobody. You moved your goods to market on the roads that the rest of us paid for. You hired workers the rest of us paid to educate. You don't have to worry that Mar Now look, you build a factory. Now look. To educate. Now look, you build a factory and you turned it into something terrific or a great idea. God bless. Keep a big hunk of it. But the underlying social contract is you take a hunk of that and pay forward for the next kid who comes along. She won the nomination, and later, during President Barack Obama's time in office, would be asked to use her knowledge to form the Consumer Financial Form the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, a new agency with the goal of keeping Wall Street banks and other financial <laughs> institutions accountable to protect consumers from financial tricks and traps often hidden in mortgages, credit cards and other financial products. Stop Her efforts now. in the field have been praised by both sides of the aisle. That means Republicans and Democrats. And Time Magazine once referred to her as the new sheriff of Wall Street. <laughs> Very fun. Speaking of Democrats... Nice. Uh-oh. ...her as the new sheriff of Wall Street. I have, I have my own Speaking of Democrats... Oh, died. Wall Street. Sheriff of Wall Street. Speaking of Democrats and Republicans, when it comes to her political affiliation, Warren voted Republican for many years, feeling that Republicans best supported markets. In 1995, she began voting Democrat, and she no longer believed that to be true. And ultimately, the woman believes that neither party should dominate, and her choices are driven by her goal to be a great consumer advocate. Let's finish this out with the topic of nevertheless, she persisted. Have you noticed a bunch of skin-having human beings getting this series of words tattooed on them recently? Did you know that Elizabeth oh, Warren was the accidental creator of this resounding battle cry in February of this year, <laughs> Jim knows. 2017? Warren stood in front of Congress to oppose the nomination of Jeff Sessions from U.S. Attorney to Federal Judge on the basis that he was racially biased. And then they're like, ugly, bad boy. Like, ooh, no fee, ooh. She began to read a letter that Coretta Scott King, Martin Luther King Jr.'s widow, had written about the man. Presiding Senate Chair Steve Daines cut her off, and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell cited Senate Rule 19 as to why. Look it up. It wasn't intended for use in this way, but it does apply. Later, when outraged over the ridiculous use of Senate Rule 19, pressed him to comment, he remarked that she was warned. She was given an explanation. Nevertheless, she persisted. And every woman ever said, oh, hey, that's me too. I think I All love right, you, Warren. You're tenacious, little honey bear. Okay. I took that, sorry. No, I got in your way. Uh, Warren Bio. Alright, so I'm nesting that, so it's. I can't, like, accidentally delete it, which I have done in the past, and it's not fun! Yeah. Alright, let's do the fun thing. So, Beth, do you edit all the audio and then make the video match oh, with yeah, these Photoshop the videos? Audio. Yep, that's exactly... Well, that's what I've been doing recently. When I first started, I would, like, edit the whole thing and then do the voiceover last, oh, yeah. but, um... I think it's been easier to time it to the voiceover. Okay. 
So, I have a bunch of, like, interstitial shots. Guys, I just got a rising desk. Yeah, Cal, now you know. Is that the shot that I'm going to use? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, that desk is new. I think you're making fun of me, though. I should dance in music videos more often. I don't do it very often, and then I edit it, and I'm like, oh, no, this is great. Bunch of stuff. Naturally, I'm blurry. What's up? Beth, your moves are great. Ah. Dance looks like Team Skull. You've been playing too much Pokemon Moon? Maybe. I have a tall stationary desk, but my stool rises and lowers. Oh, that's I do not have that. I have to stand if I'm if I'm standing. Cal, you're totally right. That is very annoying. Holy shit, she's still streaming. I am. I'd be here till I'm done. Baby. Did you record and edit the same day? Yeah, all of this is all one day. I started early burly. And I did find the Majora's Mask. Last I heard that went missing. I found it. It fell on the floor and then I found it. I'm gonna mute this real quick so that that doesn't sound so crazy.
Hi, Lilac Ink. Welcome back. Lauren loves cookies. Do you like your job? It seems fun. I do like my job. I do a lot of different things, though. This is only one component. YouTube is maybe like 30% of what I do. Um, Breath of the Wild, I ain't got money for that Switch. Save up, baby. It's a great game. It might be, it might actually be my favorite game ever right now. Gem Rose, you should have a how to draw section on your channel. Teach us your drawing ways. Oh, I'm nervous about doing a teaching thing. Because it's just, it's hard to balance, like, funny with education. How do you get such good lighting in your videos? It's just that window. That's all that's on. That's just natural light. There's nothing you can... There's no way to beat it. I read you hot, though. You, you inspired me to get an undercut, too, and I love it. Yeah, <laughs> they're great. Right now, I'm growing mine out. Um, <laughs> because... I never, ever say. Oh, sweet boyfriend. I'm growing mine out. The bottom is... Um, oh, like the, the back and bottom, I'll probably reshave, but the sides, oh. I'm finding that I'm having trouble oh, no. styling my hair now because it's short all the time and there's some looks that I want oh, to do oh my god he's yelling Mike is yelling so much <laughs> but I would recommend having an undercut I thought it was great I really really liked having it and I still like having it and I will continue to have it but I just want to change it so it takes a while okay um this I want to get rid of that planning on using this shot at the end. This shot's a nice little interstitial thing. That shot's oh. nice too. Everybody's, they're behind us. Everybody's behind. Oh my gosh. I have my own. Got the birds just Over. for good measure. Baby, I just got into my brother, my brother, and me, and I've been binging hard. <sighs> Trying to figure out if there's a way for me to stick this in, or if that's too much. I have so many, like, s extra shots. They just, they res? I don't think it's going to fit. Come, come closer. I'm coming. Okay, so Lato this is going to go in the middle someplace. Oh my god, guys, good job. That video is so long, man. <laughs> Elizabeth. Mr. Hondo. Elizabeth Ann Warren. Too fast. Too fast. Ooh, I'm stuck. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay, now I do this. And I lock. And I delete all these. And I make these maybe 2,500 fast. And we compress four hours of footage. Okay, try doing videos about your favorite hobby, yeah. Cal wants to start a YouTube channel, is that what's going on? What Not having the ability to do anything in Movie Maker might be the only reason why I quit YouTube. I just felt like I couldn't do anything cool. Oh. Please remix all of Mike's noises into sound effects for Fresh Plays. I really wonder what you guys can hear. How much you can hear. You should do YouTube. If you want to do YouTube, do it. There's nothing to lose. Isabel, do I get recognized a lot for my videos? No, um, I've been recognized like two or three times at VidCon last year, and that's it. Which is super duper cool. Oh no, I got I did get recognized. Somebody who is a Practical Folks fan um, saw me at Comic Con and took a picture with me, which was kind of cool. But no, I'm still a very small YouTuber, so no, nobody says anything to me. Probably need to be three. No, this was fine. Tara, yes, I am going to VidCon this year, and I'm actually a featured creator this year, so I'm gonna have panels. I'm gonna be giving talks and stuff, which is mind blowing. I was last year. I was uh, I don't know. I had 400 subs, and this year I'm a featured creator. Yeah, that's cool. I'm excited.
I dash? Yeah. So this was recorded at 4.19.05, Am I missing one? Because this seems like a big jump. Good night, Meg T. Thanks for being here. And yeah, Cal, you are killing us. If you got a joke, you gotta let it out, man. Do you ever get so tired that your legs start to go numb? I think it's my bedtime. Uh-huh. Go to sleep, Emily. Ooh. Good night. Thank you for being here. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did, too. Alright, panel joke. Um. A panel joke. I feel like I'm extending all of my mental capacities to do this video. So as far as making a a panel joke, I'm having a hard time. What's happening? Did I not record something? Okay, so right now we're jumping from like the sketch to like half finished line art. And I don't yes. know why none of this is right. They. Eh? Alright, guys, I can't even do anything in this. Mike can't even do anything in this. We're not staying together, and I can't res everybody. I can't res anybody. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, I do have it. It just... Okay, well, it's just this. Mind. Wait, what? And in Georgia's Tybee Island, I've re I see. I found it. I found the missing link. Speed duration. Mike's playing support, bless him. Yeah, he loves playing healers. He's he's always either uh, Mercy or he plays the one who has a boombox and rollerblades. The best relationships are built on support. <laughs> That's cute. Why is this black? What? Who's doing that? The soldier. No, no, no. Why are you the way that you are? 
right? Is this... Huh? Okay. Two, five. Okay, now you're working. That's weird. Bitty Tara, she's got a code college. She's got graphics today. Enjoy graphics. Thanks for being here. Shadow Bell, time to go back to studying for my exam. Thanks for being here. Hope you had fun. I had fun. And then everyone's telling. Who had a spider in their house? Isabella. Isabella, yeah, burn down your house. That's a very good suggestion. Very healthy, very real. And yes, Lucio. That was the character. He plays Lucio in Mercy most most times. Okay, okay, I make I make more edits now. I'm a Symmetra man, my friends think I'm scum. That's funny. Cal, sounds like you have the best life. Same life as mine right now.
so I have to extend the music. Talking about scary snakes and spiders and stuff. Why? Why? Yeah, Ariana, get out of here. Be responsible. I appreciate you being here, but put yourself first. Cal, I was homeschooled too for three years, from um, what was it sixth grade through eighth grade. So I just was like, I did elementary school, got pulled out of school, and then went back in for high school. I think I love you, Elizabeth Warren. Me too, it's just really funny.
almost done, believe it or not. Her father had... When she was youngest with three older brothers, she would later describe her family life as teetering on the ragged edge of the middle class. Warren married her high school sweetheart with a Bachelor of Science degree in... Okay, let's tidy up the ending here. <laughs> Katie. That's live streams are the best because we basically just all hang out. Yeah, I'm busy. You guys have a good time over there. Hey Beth, what do you use as lighting equipment for your videos? During the daytime, I try my best to use natural light. I have like pretty big windows in these apartments and we get bounce light. I don't have any direct sunlight, which is nice. Just bounce light off of the building outside, which is white, so it's great. Otherwise, um, I use this like $35... What, what would that be called? Box light that I got off of Amazon? Yeah. Right now it's lighting the room so that you can see me. Because last time we did this, everyone was like, Did you dye your hair? Because it looked purple because it was so dark. And that's what I used to light my videos. Hey, Mom says, Katie, it's like one big chill family. It's the best family. Yeah, this, uh, Cal, this light box is only $35. You can get plenty of them that are like $200, but you don't really need them. If you're not setting up giant, um, giant, like, film sets. If it's just you by yourself in your apartment, get a $35 one. It's a, a newer brand. N-E-E-W-E-R. It comes with a light, but mine, like, I plugged it in, and then the light, like, caught on fire. So... You might have to buy a different light. How much do you love being in an apartment complex with your friends? So much. I didn't think that it would happen again after college. Um, and it's the fucking, it's the best. Every Sunday we try to get together. And have like family dinner nights. And we all cook. What camera do I use? Do I have it with me? It's over there. It's an NEX5T. NEX5T. I keep forgetting that I can like type in the comments. Um, it is a great little camera, and it was cheap-ish. It's not cheap, but it's it's not like a Canon, one of those giant Canon Mach 5 things. The pick for the looks, the pick for this looks like you're making a tattoo. Yeah, that was the intent. I can show you real quick at the end here. I um. I did a little mock-up and put it on my own arm as a fake tattoo from the power of Photoshop.
Did I swear I'm sorry? I think I dropped an F bomb. <laughs> Volume up is painting a very specific picture of me. Caught on fire. Get the $35 one. Yeah, it's just you alone in your apartment. <laughs> No, Laura, I don't have a P.O. box yet, and I don't have an excuse. There's no good reason why I don't. I'd like to send you a piece of jewelry. Laura, thank you. Cal, you're amazing, up until 4 a.m. Katie, you too. In America, 1.05 a.m. in sunny Germany. Dang. In the Netherlands, guys! Thanks for watching, that's exciting. What's it like in Germany and the Netherlands right now? Four PM in the Philippines, no school tomorrow. Oh, cool. It was ten past nine in Scotland. Nice cool morning. Yesterday was Shershing, huh? Shkershing? Shkersing. I did not I did not know what this means. Marcus says no clouds, just sunshine in Germany. Beautiful, guys. Annie Young's at her work now, I assume. Rainy as heck, too. What? Laura, I'm studying to become a jeweler at TAFE in Australia and would, or T-A-F-E in Australia and would love to make something for you because you keep me entertained. Laura! I will have a P.O. Box. I've been um, trying to go in with or rather, I, I pitched it to the practical folks that we should have a joint P.O. box so everybody can send what they want to my channel and their channel the same place and we can split the cost. And I think they want to go for it, we just haven't done it yet. Mads, I would love to see the Fiona sh finished Fiona Crystal Sword. Send me an Instagram DM. My DMs are open, girl. Why is Beth's live chat late by a few seconds? Every um every stream is late a little bit. So it is what it is. Every time I say something, I have to wait for you guys to like hear it and then respond. It's just the nature of live chatting. Oh, <laughs> Hannah, sorry. Time. Time doesn't exist to me anymore. Okay, so this is gonna scale. I 
feel like these scales are kind of tacky, but they work. And then the outro, which I nested earlier. And then I can use, oh, what's the outro music? Kicking it. Hey you, subscribe to Snarled, like, hey you. Don't tell me what to do, Beth. Get my focus face on. Subscribe to Snarled. Like this video if you liked it. Check out my channel, Beth B. Rad, if you like me and want to see more me talking at a camera. And leave me a comment down in the comment section below telling me who you want me to draw on the next Rad Portraits. And until then, stay persistent. Snarled. Like this video if you liked it. Check out my channel, Beth B. Rad, if you like me and want to see more of me talking at a camera. And leave me a comment down in the comment section below telling me who you want me to draw on the next Rad Portraits. And until then, stay persistent. I think I am close to finishing. Um, now I want to see if... Oh, that's right. I had a little piece of something I wanted to...
gonna see if I need an adjustment layer for the colors. It's gonna be an assets, or is it assets? There it is. Adjustment layer. Do color. You guys can't see this because I'm covering it with both me and you. We're gonna just gonna play with the color balance a little bit. Let's do negative ten for everything. And so I'll throw a little bit of sharpen on there. Twenty sharp. Yeah, why not? Why is this adjustment layer so long? And then we put it on the outro too. Five minutes, that's a pretty long red portrait. Does anyone ever wonder how YouTubers do this stuff? It's so cool. It takes a long time. Uh, once I started doing YouTube, I was a lot more, um, had a lot more respect for the people who do it as often as they do. It's just, just the editing itself it takes forever. Thanks, Jem Rose. She thinks I should be more popular because so much goes into these videos. But I think popularity is a double-edged sword. I like I like the size that I'm at. I like you guys. I like that I can look at the live stream and read everyone, re read what everyone says, and it's not just like going like crazy. Uh, I think Anna Akana works harder than I do, which is saying something because I, I do a lot. Okay, so I just hit enter, which means I'm rendering. You can see this bar up here, there's a red and yellow, um, and now green. That means that it's like intense for the computer to, to preview the file. So if I render it, it will cache what's there. It will like make a copy of what's there. So when I play through it, it'll play smoothly because it knows what it's playing versus trying to read the files uh, without, without any prior knowledge of it. Oh, hey, Mads. All right, I'm going to full screen preview this. And you guys won't be able to see the left side of the screen because <laughs> of where the boxes are. But that's okay. Hello. My name is Beth, and this is Red Portraits, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think is making a difference. I'll tell you why I think they're making a difference. And then I draw them, and I try different things every time I draw. Ow. Stop fighting. Thanks to your suggestions, today, we're gonna draw one of my favorite politicians. Yeah, I'm bringing politics into this. Elizabeth Warren. If you like how she looks, stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. Let's get into it. Oops, I should probably turn the audio on. Around, and I'll show you how I did it. Let's get into it. Go fight. Elizabeth Ann Warren is an American academic and politician, and if I didn't already have a mom, I'd pick her as mine. 
Currently serving as senior United States Senator from Massachusetts, Warren was previously a law professor for more than 30 years and is recognized as one of the nation's top experts on bankruptcy and the financial pressures facing middle class families. But let's start in the beginning. In Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, during the summer of 1949, Warren was born. The youngest with three older brothers. She would later describe her. Seems quiet, so I'm just going to boost the VO by six decibels. Her family life as teetering on the ragged edge of the middle class. Warren married her high school sweetheart, Jim Warren, when she was only 19 years old. And after moving with him to Houston, she enrolled and graduated from the University of Houston with a Bachelor of Science degree in speech pathology. I'm glad you like us. I'm glad she you guys like the chat teacher, thing. I'm glad I figured that out. She could only work with disabled children. And tell me how that makes sense. It was the 80s. Anyways, she got prego, moved to New Jersey, had a baby, enrolled in Rutgers School of Law, Newark, got prego again, got her JD, passed the bar, had her baby, and worked from home. I worked from home with no babies, and that's hard enough. And then she got a divorce, and by 1980, she was remarried to law professor Bruce Mann and started lecturing at colleges. Life comes at you fast, right? Warren has taught at quite a few colleges around the nation, and most recently at Harvard Law School. This powerhouse is the only tenured law professor at Harvard who studied at an American public university, and only two other professors in the nation has citation rates higher than Warren in bankruptcy and commercial law. In 2011, Warren announced that she would be running for the Democratic nomination of the 2012 election in Massachusetts for the U.S. Senate. Her platform was, of course, based on her expertise, and in response to the claims that asking the rich to pay more taxes was class warfare, she had this to say. There is nobody in the country who got rich on his own. Nobody. You moved your goods to market on the roads that the rest of us paid for. You hired workers the rest of us paid to educate. And now look, you build a factory and you turned it into something terrific or a great idea. God bless. Keep a big hunk of it. But the underlying social contract is you take a hunk of that and pay forward for the next kid who comes along. She won the nomination. And later, during President Barack Obama's time in office, would be asked to use her knowledge to form the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, a new agency with the goal of keeping Wall Street banks and other financial institutions accountable to protect consumers from financial tricks and traps often hidden in mortgages, credit cards, and other financial products. Her efforts in the field have been praised by both sides of the aisle, that means Republicans and Democrats, and Time Magazine once referred to her as the new sheriff of Wall Street. Speaking of Democrats and Republicans, when it comes to her political affiliation, Warren voted Republican for many years, feeling that Republicans best supported markets. In 1995, she began voting Democrat, and she no longer believed that to be true. And ultimately, the woman believes that neither party should dominate, and her choices are driven by her goal to be a great consumer advocate. Let's finish this out with the topic of nevertheless, she persisted. Have you noticed a bunch of skin-having human beings getting this series of words tattooed on them recently? Did you know that Elizabeth Warren was the accidental creator of this resounding battle cry? In February of this year, 2017, Warren stood in front of Congress to oppose the nomination of Jeff Sessions from the U.S. Attorney to Federal Judge on the basis that he was racially biased and in an ugly, bad way. Like, ooh, no, for real. She began to read a letter that Coretta Scott King, Martin Luther King Jr.'s widow, had written about the man. Presiding Senate Chair Steve Daines cut her off, and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell cited Senate Rule 19 as to why. Look it up. It wasn't intended for use in this way, but it does apply. Later, when outrage over the ridiculous use of Senate Rule 19 pressed him for comment, he remarked that she was warned. She was given an explanation. Nevertheless, she persisted. And every woman ever said, oh, hey, that's me too. I think I love you, Elizabeth Warren. You tenacious little honey baby. Subscribe to Snarled. Like this video if you liked it. Check out my channel, Beth B. Rad, if you like me and want to see more of me talking at a camera. And leave me a comment down in the comment section below telling me who you want me to draw on the next Red Portraits. And until then, stay persistent. Does that bother you? <laughs> that ends cute. One last thing I wanted to do was a push in on this last shot. Oh, didn't work. Why didn't it work?
Cool. What's up, guys? Love the typeface you use. It looks natural and hand drawn. Yeah, I tried to hand draw it and then I I gave up, so I just used a typeface. Um, Beth, why do you say asyntic if you're a snob? Because I'm embarrassed to admit that I have a Cintiq, because I feel like it's uh, it's a luxury item, a luxury item. Um, you don't need it, and I don't want to tell people in the videos that you need a Cintiq to make good artwork, because that's not true at all. So, I think I put if you're a snob in there because I feel insecure about owning it. Like, I'm not... I feel like I'm bragging is what it is. And so, if I call myself a snob, then, then no one else can call me a snob. Um... Love the typeface, yeah, yeah. Gotta hate Mitch McConnell so much that man has ruled over my home state for far too long. I'm sorry, Sarah. Ugh. What are you recording with right now? I'm recording with a Logitech webcam. What are you called? It's like C900 or something? It's a Photoshop tool. Gabrielle had a question about a Photoshop thing? Beth, how did you transfer that to your arm? Oh, um, so the artwork is just like black and white line art and I pulled that over. You can see it better once the video renders and everything, but I just pulled that over into onto the photo of me and I right clicked the image. I selected warp transform. No, I selected free transform and then warp, which gives you that like uh, mesh around the image. And then I just kind of made it look like the mesh was wrapping around my arm and it changes the image to look that way too. Bird kisses. I have an Intuos Pro and it's pretty decent. What is the Intuos Pro? Is that like a tablet? Some of the tablets have gotten pretty fantastic as of late. Um, just because I'm curious. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, welcome Intuos Pro. They're great. They're they're top of the line, um, industry standard. But there are plenty of other tablets that are much more inexpensive, and they're great too. Did practical folks not make a joke about Mitch McConnell looking like a turtle? They're very political. They do a, a really nice job of being both informed and having funny opinions. Ellie says, I have to go to work in 30 minutes. Well, I'll be done by th in 30 minutes. I mean, the video's done. I finished. Unless somebody noticed something that I said weird. That's a good thumbnail. <laughs> Everyone became silent once Beth talked. Ah, the amount of respect, guys! You know, you, ah, that's so sweet. Beth, you shouldn't feel embarrassed about the Cintiq because it's your job. Yes, I, I understand that. Uh, but again, it ties into that idea of me telling other people how, how to do it. And I don't, I just don't want them to think that without a Cintiq, you're not a good artist because that's... The tools mean nothing. It's all, this is what it is. This is where the magic is. Does this mean you finish the live stream? You're going to finish as soon as you're done answering questions. Yeah, I'll hang out for a minute. Let me see if I can hit render on this pup. This puppy. It's pup pad boy. Oh, do I want to push in on this joke? Guys, help me out with this bird joke in the beginning. And I try different things every time I draw. Ow, stop fighting. Should I push in on that? Oh, Chica Blow, your mom's yelling at you that you need to go to sleep. Then you should probably go to sleep. She seems a bit too happy to be slapping the bird, in my opinion. Looks like she's about, she's high-fiving the bird. In the beginning? I'm not slapping no birds. I'll tell you why I think they're making a difference. And then I draw them, and I try different things every time I draw. Ow. I draw. Every time I draw. Every time I draw. Things every time I draw. Ow. Stop fighting. Thanks. I need different things every time I draw. 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 Ow. Stop fighting. 
I think it needs the push-in. I always feel like push-ins are funnier. Yeah, like Cal says. I try the push-in, see if it works. It's fine without it, but it could be funnier. More bird is always the right choice. Push in, keep it. All right, let's see. Why I think they're making a difference. And then I draw them, and I try different things every time I draw. Ow, stop fighting. Thanks to your suggestion. Yeah, that's better. Today, we're going to draw one of my favorite politicians. Yeah, I'm bringing politics into this. Elizabeth Warren. If you like how she looks, stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. Let's get into it. Don't fight. Elizabeth Ann Warren is an American- And then I was loud and tinny. If you and practical folks have taught me anything, push and makes funnies. It's so true. Morgan Clark, what is your favorite animal to draw, Beth? Hmm. What do I draw all the time? Since I do work for Anna Akana, I feel like I'm doing- I'm drawing cats a lot. But that's not my favorite animal to draw. You know what? My favorite animal to draw is a snake. I love drawing snakes. And I'm like a little bit alarmed by that when I'm when I'm ever asked, "Hey, just draw something random for me." I'm like, "Okay," and I draw a snake. But snakes are not beloved animals, we'll say. I do draw a lot of birds. I wouldn't say they're they're my favorite thing to draw though cuz um I feel like when you start drawing a bird, that's quite a commitment because of all damn feathers. Is the audio on the video clipping? Where where would that audio be, Cal? Elizabeth Ann Warren is an American academic and politician. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Four. And if I didn't already have a mom, I'd pick her. Yeah, that's good. Um, girl, it seems so tedious. You must have a patient patience. Any editor will tell you that. This is the job, and you either love it or you hate it. And that is the that that is that. I think the dancing balances the sneak beautifully. <laughs> yeah, Beth. Whatever happened to the pizza videos on Star? Did they ever come out? No, they didn't. I don't think that they will. Um. I don't know what the plan for that is, because so Snarled, Snarled originally wanted to do a like cooking spin-off channel, the same way that Hissy Fit is a spin-off beauty channel, and they were like, hold the phone, don't do any cooking shows on Snarled, because we want to save it for this other thing. But now I don't think they're going to do this other thing, and the videos were like, cute, but not... They didn't have purpose, they were just kind of fun. And I would argue that if it's fun, put it on YouTube, why not? But they have... They have a goal that they're striving for, and I don't think that the pizza show is a part of that goal anymore. Um. How old are your birds? Garrus is about as old as my time out here in Los Angeles. I got him like six months after I moved, so he is three and a half? And Pidgey's about the same age, but I got her a year after, so she was already a year old when I got her. So they're both about three and a half. Will you do a rad art about Garrus? If they'll let me. Um, in one rad portraits, you should compete with someone else and see who can draw the person best with cool materials. Maybe. Competition's always weird with art. Or rather, I'm weird about competition with art. I think right after the intro music, when the new music track plays, is when it clips. Let me see. The clicking is mic. It might be. Watching from Cape Town, South Africa. Welcome! It's 1.30 a.m. I wanted to be done with this by 1, but it looks like I went 30 minutes over my expected time, which is uh, very, very like me. 
how long does it usually take you to edit a video? Uh, three, four hours, I'd say. If I'm doing well. It's 12 if I'm editing three camera. God, the, um, nobody watched it, but the, uh, red art face-to-face -face that I did with Megan. Like, I w I'm really proud of that video. It was a lot of fun to shoot. It was stressful to edit because I was working on, like, a crazy deadline. And it took, like, 15 hours to edit. And then Snarled put it up. But they didn't put my face or her face, two of her bigger, their biggest creators, in the thumbnail. And they didn't label it red art, so no one knew what it was. And no one watched it, and no one commented on it. Have I always had birds growing up? Yes, I have always had birds. Lauren loves cookies. She has to go. That's okay. I'm just about done anyway. Oh, you should be Beth. What? Jordana says, oh, you know, it'd be fun. Beth, draw something, then have Mike do the voiceover. That would be fun. What? Jordana suggests that I should draw something, and then you should do the voiceover. I could do that, he says. Yeah. Seeker to Kells is really good. Laura asks if I've seen it, and I have. It was a long time ago, though. I think it was before I had a real appreciation for animation. Yeah. It was funny. Oh, cool. You, some of you guys watched it. Thanks. I'm glad. No one, everyone was like, what is this? I don't know. Please consider being... Yes, I am... Get it, consider getting a P.O. Box. I am going to... Uh, I just... I tried when I was living in Hollywood, and the waiting list was like months and months and months and months, and so now I'm really intimidated, even though it's probably not a big deal. It's just the place that I went was crazy. I will. Beth, who are you drawing for the next episode? I'm drawing RuPaul for the next episode from Drag Race. Have you seen Studio Ghibli at all? Of course I have! I've seen every Studio Ghibli film. That's not true. I haven't seen the one with planes. The the art of the sky. The, the dance of the wind. Whatever that's called. Oh, hi, Tyler! You caught me right at the end. I just did a whole video. I just a whole and it's everything. That's a good frame to just stop on. Yeah, that's good. We'll just we'll just make that big and horrible. No, we won't. I hate this. Hi, hello. My name is Beth, and this is. What's that? Okay, we'll we'll do it. We'll end it. And Garrus being cute. Look cute Garrus and my little buck teeth. Good night, Cal. Way to stick it through to the end, man. You are you are the first one and you are the end. When the wind yeah, the wind rises, that's what it was called. I did not see the wind rises. Okay, let's quick quick fire. Let me answer some of these last questions, and then we'll go to bed. I'll let you guys all go. Are you going to do the live stream this late next time? Maybe I, if I can set it up so that there's like a scheduled time for me to do these, um, I should probably do that so that you guys have an expectation. Um, I'll try not to, but this is when I end up editing. Kit Kat, Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite. Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite, too. I thought I would love Ponyo, and then it was like a kid's movie. Also, hi and bye, Tyler. Uh-huh. Hello from Scotland. Hello to Scotland! Ooh, I will not be able to pronounce your first name. McRae. Elda? Elda McRae? I shouldn't have tried. See the Red Turtle. It's probably in L.A. theaters right now. I'm going to write that down. I've never heard of that before. Mike, have you heard of the Red Turtle? Ghibli movie? What? Have you heard of the Red Turtle? It's a Ghibli movie? No. Okay. 
I'm putting it in my in my notes. The Red Turtle title movie to watch. Thanks for that. Okay, sleep well. You can post a start time. Yes, I can post a start time. I'm learning about this. this is my second stream. I'm learning. Yes, my cockatiels do like cornflakes. Anything unhealthy, they're super into it. Would you rather charms or fan art to Beth? I don't know if that question is directed at me. Also, what is charms? Acrylic painting tips. Oh my god, so many. Um, don't spend too much time nitpicking the details. Try to paint in like broad shapes. So start with like bigger, broader shapes. And, and uh, <laughs> I can't rapid fire that one. But I'm sorry, Mads, you've been asking that a couple times in this stream, and I kept I kept missing it. Beth, what hair dye do you use? It holds your hair so well. I use Faria Intense Copper Red colors. Anything that Faria makes that's really, really red, I use that. Volume up. Thanks for much for streaming. You're the best. Have a good night's sleep. You're the best, too. You have a good night's sleep. Thank you for being here. Uh, you can post a short video saying when you could do a live stream. Delete when the stream is over. That's a good idea, too. I would probably try to do that. That sounds good. When you uploading this video, I think it automatically uploads when I'm done. I think, I think that's what happened with the last one. Um, otherwise, I'll post it tomorrow. And favorite physical medium: pen and ink. I like micron pens. These guys. Yeah, baby. Little sac Sakura microns, and I have a little tape on here because this is an old one, and I have a bunch of new ones, and I want to make sure I remember which one has ink and which one doesn't. Would you rather me send you cute keychains or fan art? Ooh. I don't know. I want to say cute keychains because I don't know what will happen to the fan art. I don't know what to do. You guys send awesome fan art to me and I don't know what to do with it. Like, should I reblog it on Instagram? Should I print it out? Put it places? Okay. Tell me what's the best, best thing to do with fan art. Besides just keep it saved in a folder that I stare at and love and show to everybody. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody's going to bed, so I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for being a part of the stream. This was so much fun. I'm really enjoying these, and I never thought that I would. Um... I will do this again. It, every time I do it, it'll be smoother and smoother and smoother. And thanks for joining me today. If you were here for the first one and now you're here for the second one, you're part of the Beth's fan... Not fan club. Beth's family. You're a part of the Beth's family. If you're only here for this one, you're a part of the Beth's family. Yeah, I'm part of the Beth's family. I love you guys. Thank you for doing this. And by doing this, I mean being here. I'm being awkward. It's time to go to bed. It's time to go. Okay. <laughs> Good night, guys.